Okay, good, Jode. 929. I hope, pe okay, we're gonna have to ask the folks if they can hear us better. And if it's a, if it's whatever. Anyway, hello, hello. I didn't even move that light. Let me do that for you. Jody, so you thanks, Jody. Down. I'm gonna just enjoy my coffee right now. Good morning from Michigan, Gail. I wonder. Good morning, Miss Adela. Hey, you guys, we bought a fancy new microphone. Do we sound better, okay. worse, or indifferent? It is giant and weighs a ton. So if it's not good, we're gonna take it back. Are you talking about me? <laughs> Wait, what? What? Okay, just a minute. You're backing up and showing all our secrets. Just zoom in. Or you're trying to see the level. What are you doing? Are you leaving it back there? No. Good morning, oh, no. everybody. Coming in. Coming in. Coming in tight, not too tight. Not too close. Uh, it's good morning. Okay, sound. Angie says sound is great. Good morning from Vegas. Hello. Okay, she says she's Vegas Golden Knits and their hockey team's the Golden Knights. I get it. I get it. Good morning, Scotland. Good morning. Oh my gosh, it's so fun to see you guys are there. Should I join? Joyce, Jody, come say hi to the people. Do I? Do we feel crooked, or is it just me? I don't know. Who cares? Is it going to bother everybody? Is that better? I don't know. Whatever. Slightly better. Um, I feel like I. Good I've been... morning, Mom. Good morning, Jerry from Miss, Phoenix. Miss commenting on YouTube. Hello, Mama. Oh, hello from Iceland. Get out of town. I want to come visit you. I love the look of Iceland and Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, that's somewhere else I want to see. Oh, and lovely Norway's in the house. What the heck? Good morning and afternoon, everybody. We're coming to My you from eyes. winter. Hello, Oslo. Right? Blairsville. Oh, my God. Last time we were here, we took a lot of your Thank time. Thank you, Amelia. It was the longest video. And we were right in the middle of our Hope and Sunshine Breast Cancer Fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And that was so good. People supported it so well. So through the whole team of Hope and Sunshine with the ladies at Thread and Maple, Sam and Olga, and Karina of Louie and Lola Yarns, and Grocery Girls, and everybody that donated, there was over $40,000 that is going to be split between, um, we had a little thing in our email, but 21.7 Australian, thousand, thousand Australian dollars are going to their Breast Cancer Foundation, 21.8 thousand Canadian dollars are going to the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. So thank you to everybody that supported that. Thank you to everybody that donated a raffle prize. Mrs. Brown's Bags, Frankie Gray Fibers. Thank Louis you. Marie Todd. Is that Louie of Louie and Lola? No, Louie and Lola are her Oh, yeah, puppies. she's puppies. Oh, that's so cute. She's Karina, yeah. Um, anyway, I just wanted to let people know that update because we were asking for donations last time. It was crazy amazing. Amazing. So thank you. You know, can I just say Canada won? <laughs> It was not a contest. It was not a little a little friendly competition. It's fun. It, it kind of has to drive. That. Jody. We're the winners. We're not the winners. You know who's the winners? Breast cancer research. Mm -hmm. And so, Canada. <laughs> so anyway, we are sending love and hugs to anybody out there. It was that this really has Yeah, it was incredible. Um, it's a horrible disease. It is so, it seems so widespread and common. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thank you to everybody. And you, what and is we your won. problem? <laughs> anyway, it is wonderful to be back. Mm -hmm. It's officially winter. And it was, Canada, yes. It was fall two weeks ago. And then in literally one night, it turned to winter. We got a dump of snow. Not just snow, you guys. It's a fucking deep freeze. And then we had the fall back. It's like we're, our dinner is in the middle of the night now. It's Hold so dark. Did I not bring my phone? I'm going to be wow. really annoyed what with is myself. Wrong? What is wrong with you? I think it's in my bag. Hang on. Hold the phone. You're, I feel I, like Jody's moving in. She came in with a bag that looks like, was like, do you need help? The largest Ikea bag, you guys. It's almost as big as a suitcase. 
So anyway, yeah, so Michaela says soup season. Literally, the day we got the giant dump of snow, I made some homemade chicken noodle soup. I've had chili since then. I made, I made stew. Did you? Yes. These are all like, I actually love winter cooking, that cold weather, like simmering something all afternoon. Listen, I don't mind snow because listen, if we live here, we get it for five, five months straight of snow. My husband just bought a new snow blower. <laughs> like it is so winter. But the minus 24 Celsius in the morning. Oh, it's awful. I'm over it. And it's this like, is early for that. It is. It is. It didn't literally just, it's not a snow. It automatically just switched to like minus 20, a dump of snow, slippery roads. I'm going to put my socks on, you guys, because you I wore Uggs over here, and so I had bare feet. So hold the phone. It's not going to be pretty. There you go. Um, I'm so impressed with your flexibility that you can you. even do that. That was my good. Jody's so flexible. She's famous for her flexibility. <laughs> Here's my, oh my God, just a sec. I got to turn sideways, you guys. This is the bad hip. I think, Okay. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I think my next soup that I'm going to make, and I know, listen, people, I don't want to hear it, but cream of cauliflower, where you roast cauliflower and then like puree it and make it a creamy, and you can have like bacon or croutons on top. I love, you're going to... Yeah, I love right? it. Right? Yeah. Roast the veggies and then do some kind of yummy soup. Not too, like, heavy cream, but, like, just something really stick to your ribs. Um, I actually said this. This will be my season of the soups. And I don't normally I do it. that. I love it. Once a week at least. Yeah. And Georgia hates them. I am so over it. I don't care. Eat it. Don't eat it. I don't care. Jeff and I love it. Um... That's right. I've, I've got, got some great soup cookbooks. I'll actually share them with you because one of them's Canadian. Um, anyway, love it. So I actually said that too because for me, that's like a whole meal for like three, like have it one day and it's leftovers and then frozen for and, another time. And I never know what to have for lunch. And sometimes I end up either not eating it so then I'm ravenous at like 4 p.m. and eat a bunch of crap and then eat till bed. Yeah. Um, but I love having stuff like that in the fridge. Now you can just quickly heat it up for lunch too. Right. Cause you get so busy. Sorry. I'm just doing it. Um, Adela minus 24 Celsius is minus 11 Fahrenheit. There you go. And that's normal for us. That is our normal yes. winter. Um, that's why we knit all year to wrap ourselves in wool and like you've, you've got to start your car and let it run for a few mm -hmm. minutes. If you leave your phone in your car, the battery gets drained instantly with the cold. Mm -hmm. It's nuts. And yet, we're not nearly as bad as, like, Nunavut or, like, the Northwest Territory. Like, it gets worse. It gets worse. I know, Adela. You can't even. But I still expect you to come visit, so no excuses. Um, okay, so, yeah. So that, it was, like, it was plus 14. And I actually said to the girls, I said, this will be the last double-digit in the plus for a long time. Right. And then it was like, and we said that before, it's like a mother nature switches off fall. And this year she like cranked Listen, up winter. She's not fond of Alberta because our weather is drastic changes very yeah. quickly. I can't believe we're talking about the weather so much, but it's true. We had an autumn that was like into the high teens it was until amazing. the end of October. And then literally bam, that's over. Here you go. Here's winter. So yeah. I guess we I guess we shouldn't complain because we really did have well, a beautiful September October, but I'm going to anyway. Let's whine about it. Um, something that's really fun is the Edmonton Fiber Frolic is this weekend, and we had a really fun giveaway. So thank you to the Holly and the ladies at Edmonton Fiber Frolic. It has kind of exploded this time. It's now at the conventions at the Expo Center. It's bigger than ever. So I hope people are able to drive in or just support locally. Um, we're going to go hang out and see what that's all about. This week has, sh has shipped up to be a was... really, really busy week. Yes. And then it ends off with the fiber. What a great way to end off with the fiber frolic. I'm actually looking forward to Sunday. <laughs> it's like there's nothing happening on Sunday. Do you Sunday. know what? I'm... It's been a crazy oh. time the last two weeks, but in a good way. In a good way. Yeah, it'll be fun to wander there. But I am a lazy stay-at-home person, so Sunday's yeah. looking good, too. Um, uh, are you full into gift knitting? Yes! Wait till you see. Uh, Fiber Frolic is it twice now. They're doing it twice a year. Yeah. So one they in do May. spring and a yeah. November, which is so great. This November one is like, 
you know, buying gifts for your besties or supporting, you know, just whatever. It's Good morning, just, Jesus. But I know. maybe just two, finding something to knit for yourself or a friend or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm making, I'm not going crazy with this holiday season. There's no rule that because you're a maker, you've got to make everybody's Christmas gift and what? make it grand. I was under the impression it was literally no. by law. So I'm, I agree, Jody. I'm kind of going into it by I'm I'm not no longer feeling obligated, but I want to make a few things. Like I want to make listen. If all you don't have to make me anything. Yeah. I think scaling back would be a great idea. Yeah. I literally started at the beginning of November because I want to knit 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 for all of November. God, it's already the, like whatever, 10th. Um and I'm really hoping to not be mm -hmm. spending December knitting gifts. Yes. I've got a few done already. I'm working on some. Gift uh, knitting is stressful. I love it, though. We put it on ourselves. Yeah. But because we love to give it to the people who we know that love and appreciate knitting, right? Yeah, I totally agree. And there's some people that, like, literally that's all they want. They don't want you to buy them a gift. And I love that. And I'm happy to do that. I really am happy to do that. Yeah. I don't need a gift gift. Like, Jody. If you gave me a pair of socks, that would be the most, that would be everything. No, this is what I'm saying. Like, but I'm I mean not that. worried about, like, no, I, now. I expect you to knit me a onesie. Now I'm happy giving people socks. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Listen, Jody, we had coffee with one of our oldest and dearest friends a little while ago. And Jody, of course, with her sock machine, has a million tubes. And she was so sweet. And she brought her a pair of these DK self striping socks, which to us are like, they're amazing, mm -hmm. but they're not like, ah, uh, you know, like they're gorgeous. Anyway, she's been wearing these socks around. She's had people try to buy them off her feet. Where do you get them? Where can I buy a pair? I said to Jody, we're missing the boat. It was, I believe, we could make, Tracy. Listen, there's people around here that have no idea. But I said to her, you know, it's, you can't really make money knitting socks, mm -hmm. but maybe by cranking a tube and making some DK pairs, we could. Listen, I can get a pair done in three hours with well, a tube. I think between the two of us, we could probably, you mean, anyway. You, and so, but that's not how I'm knitting. That's not how I knit, right? Mm -hmm. I don't knit She's too. So, she got a sweater for me. Did yes, you? Yes, yes. I did send her that sweater. Um, Except I didn't make it. Adele is very fancy. She's very yeah. lucky. Any knitting it is, a, I think, is a great gift. If somebody doesn't love it, that's totally fine too. Mm-hmm. You get a gift card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, totally. I only have <laughs> it's a ha like a handful of people that will be getting a knitted item. Yes, same. Mm -hmm. Wait Am till I? you hear. I don't know if you've made the list or not. Well, whatever. <laughs> um. Anyway, I love it. I do love it. Yeah. So um, I do love that too. Yeah. It's how much I'm loving. Uh, I told you <laughs> I didn't make it. Don't make me feel bad now. <laughs> and don't send it back. Um, uh, I'm loving the whole things around my neck to hide my chins. I just love what you just did there. I wish it was, you know. So much better. I have been wearing my cowl a lot lately. Like as soon as it got cold, I have that basket of mittens I and I have whatever. And you've been wearing your hats. Um, I did some cleaning in my office yesterday you guys it felt so like I had all like I have a like a big L shape on two walls of my sewing room it's now it's not real it's now I should say, bring a picture but like I went through all the shit that just piles underneath there that I haven't touched for three years it's like almost empty underneath there like that's I spent a, three hours in there yesterday that's a huge job yeah today I am um, I have that energy to like deep clean the upstairs of our house no never yeah i do i have it i don't get it often so i better go with it deep cleaning meaning what meaning like cleaning products everything <laughs> no i thought you meant like Listen, organizing a how closet how long has it been a year probably since i stopped having someone come in to clean for me which that sounded like a great idea at the time <laughs> anyway uh, I don't mind, our house isn't giant, so I don't mind keeping it clean and tidy as I go. Sarah called me Marie Kondo. No, she's totally not. Don't <laughs> That's even. my mom. Don't even. That's my mom. Um, but today I felt the need of like, I can't just 
dust the floors anymore. I got to do the mopping and the vacuuming and the everything. So things are getting scrubbed. I'm going to scrub the shit out of my kitchen, bathroom, floors. It's happening. It's funny because I've always, like my mom is the queen of. And dad. Organize. Yeah, his garage. But I'm just specifically like the, like. She'll have everything in like containers and or clear organizers in the pantry and stuff. Yeah. I have closets where I have to push and close really quick. <laughs> I kid you not. I'm that person. I only it have seems, two closets like that. It seems to hit me all at once though. Like I'm in my closet this morning going, and I need to clean my closet. I do too. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I don't even wear. And I'm tired of looking at it, so that's got to be donated. Do you know what? It doesn't bother me that those I have two closets like that. Uh, it doesn't really bother me, but I... Anyway. It's my linen closet. I am not that person that's... That ha like has high expectations like that. I like... No, I don't have a high expectation but for everybody, myself. But everybody has their limit. Like, if I don't have my... I mean, my mom's, mom's pantry was Marie Kondo before Marie Kondo, mm -hmm. we who we knew about. Right? Like she, it's just a gene. I think some people have it. I can purge real easy. My kids are lucky I, I didn't purge them. I love purging. Yes. I love donating. I feel like I'm really good at it. I'm good at loading up the boxes, but then it's like, okay, Jeff, let's load No, these but in the that car. part, like I'm okay yeah. with letting go of things. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Most of stuff. Mm hmm. Most stuff. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I love that. Clean a closet makes you happy. Or a drawer. Just a I, drawer. Tracy. Hello, Italy. I, I want to cleaned you. my two kitchen junk drawers. We all of us have them into one. See, there's so much crap in them. Lots of times. Well, you, they're they're literally they sit there. Except for me going for batteries, that's the only thing I use in those drawers. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so now it's one junk drawer. Um, I actually don't have a linen closet anymore. I used to have a closet that had so many pairs of sheets in it. Most of them were not used. Right? Like, how many mm -hmm. pairs of sheets do we need? I don't know. Apparently, 12. One on the bed, one in the drawer, yeah. kind of, right? So I did downsize that. You know what's a good idea, and I wish I would have done this earlier so you could, you really could save space, is have, like, two sets of sheets in everybody's bedroom. Mm -hmm. One on the bed, like you said, and one in the closet. You can still do that. Because now, who... Because I'm not changing the beds ever elsewhere. Here's also something else that I have a big pet peeve that needs to change. Whoa. We up. need to put the size of the sheets on the tag. Yeah. 90% of sheets don't have the size of the sheet on it. Yeah. You could take a Sharpie and write a Q or a K or whatever on them. I'm not the first one who is frustrated with this. Why don't no, the companies not. do that? You're not. But that's a that's a quick fix right there. So now when I clean my closet, I have to go to over to my bed. Oh, this is king because the girls have queens. Oh, Jody, use a Sharpie. Get it, just do it. Anyway. Do it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You're a monster now. You started cleaning things out, and now you're a monster. No, that's it. I'm okay. good now for six months. Um, I think feel like we should get into some knitting. What are you wearing, FYI? Okay, so I didn't feel a sweater this morning, but I did feel a shawl. Jody, I love this one. This is my shawl, you guys. I love... I'm just going to say I love this you one. Sh I love this one so I, much. This is called the Malibu Shawl. And I knit it while we were in Knit City. Mm -hmm. At I, Knit City in a Airbnb on Malibu Street. Yes. It's three skeins of DK. And I remember it, this like it was yesterday. Yes, Tracy. Like you're knitting along and I'm like, what are you doing? You're like, I don't know. I'm just knitting and because, designing as I go. And it was done in days. And it was so relaxing. Like yes. you were so relaxed knitting it. So it's got, um, it's, I knit this version in three different colors. Of who? Spun right round? Yeah. Spun right round. Pretty sure. And there's some drop stitches. No, that's not what it's called. Yep. Yarn over, drop stitches. Yeah, yes. Those are and just kind of like stripes. stripes. And fringe. Hello. You guys, this is a super quick shawl. And it looks so cool on. And you can mix and match. You can make it a you could do fingering yeah. and mohair. Like and here's you could the do thing. anything. One color. It three is colors. not a giant shawl. It's my favorite size. Super easy to wear. And we all have those half skeins that we've knit hats mm -hmm. with. 
So you can pair three completely fun colors together or this one really, you know, it kind of fades into each other. People should check this out on Ravelry. There have been yarn shops that did knit alongs for this. It's a very well loved pattern. People really love it. Um, and so, and it's this construction of it. You can end it whenever you want. If you want it bigger, keep going. Yeah. If you want it smaller, stop sooner. But the decreases happen quite quickly, which means you get um, increases happen quite quickly. So you get a more longer, skinnier, which I think is a little easier for me to wear. I, I don't like as much bulk. I love it, Jode. But it's super easy to wear. The fringe is phenomenal. Yes, I love it. We all need fringe. Right? Yes. yes. I have to wear this more often. Yes. And you know what I was, and I've talked about this before, I want to knit samples in Frankie Gray yes. in all of my patterns. Yes, Jody. So, yeah. You can um, pay someone to sample knit yeah. for you. Speaking of sample knitters, can I just say thank you to all the ladies that stepped up? I have so many sweaters being knit for me. Sample. It's amazing. Listen, you are the queen of how fast can I get a sweater on my body. This is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Like, now you're to the point where you refuse to knit sleeves. So now the next step was, I'm just not knitting anything. That's right. awesome. So many good. That's so funny. This also looks really good if you really can't get by fringe. The fringe can be shorter. Oh, yeah. Um, but it does look really cute also without fringe. Rachel, send me a, an email. Sample knitting. I would love for it would some be Frankie awesome Grace if it was some someone in, in Alberta or Canada. Like I that know. You could, but whatever. I mean, shipping is great. You can do it wherever. Sure. Yeah. Okay. What are you wearing? Go. I'm wearing, this is the Sonder sweater by the Petite Knitter. Um, and it's knit in Sonder yarn in the full English color. And I think it's called Shh. Yeah. It's a pale lavender color. Um, I love it. Round it... yoke color work channel. I love it. And from this view, it looks like a gray. It's not. Taupey, but it's really not, you guys, to see it in person. This color combination is it. everything. I love it. Um, it's a great pattern. And it's just a square... She has two lengths in it. You can do it as short or long as you want. Yeah. I ended up doing bracelet length sleeves, which work for me. It's good. A little bit chilly in the winter, kind of, but I don't care. Um, and I, I do. I love it. Wei Qian's patterns are so gorgeous. I could knit the whole library of her patterns. And this is... What's her first name? Wei Qian, I think. Nice. Yeah. Uh, she's an amazing designer. Design, yeah. She's got everything from socks and hats to a million sweaters. Um, her Instagram feed is so peaceful and beautiful. She's up in the very north of Canada, and you think we're cold heels. She's. I would love to take a class it's, from oh, her. Oh, her photos are unbelievable. Yeah. Like they're just so beautiful. Um, but this yarn, so it's knit and sonder yarn, and the sweater is called sonder sweater. I was washing sweaters this week, and this two of them were in this exact yarn. And you guys, they're just so soft. It's such a yarn crush for me. Such a yarn crush. My whip is Sonder yarn. Like, I wear the crap out of these sweaters. There's barely any pills. There may be a few, a couple under here. Um, and it just is the be most beautiful weight. This DK, not too light, not too heavy. Margaret love, said she love, has a kit. Love, For this sweater. Oh, well, I hope you knit it because I think you'll love it. I could knit it again and again. I think I'm going to knit the um, Night Bloom sweater again. That was the other one that I washed. Okay. And that's also Sonder so, Yarn. So Sonder Yarn <laughs> just restocked, and we'll talk about it too, because I also have, uh, my whip happens to be Sonder Yarn. Yay. Um, first question before I move on, was this originally knit, and is that how that got its name with Sonder Yarn? It was a collab, so designed okay, with perfect. Sonder Yarn yeah. intentionally. You probably yeah. told me that, and I forgot. No. I'm um, assuming, yes, yeah. that's what it is. Sonder Yarn had a giant, if anyone was waiting for kits, and they kit really beautiful It seems like every patterns. week there's a few new kits in yeah. the shop, which is so helpful don't you think? Like where you're well, like, I'm gonna go buy a kit for this. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. I mean, then there's so many of them, and there's it's like the new designs that come out. They go to the trouble of making mm. sure they have the inventory, making sure 
they've got the stock, putting together colors. Those mm -hmm. ladies are awesome. And obviously you can do your own kit, but it takes some of the guessing work and it, and the idea that someone's thought of colors that you hadn't thought of. Yeah. I love that. I just, yeah. If you love, you know, a nice natural wool, yeah. I feel like you would probably really love this yarn. Yeah. I'm... Words to say we're obsessed would be an understatement. I, I, I cannot say how much I love it. There's yeah. a few yarns that I just literally, I can't I even, I, I love them so much. With their A crew base, I'm going to show you guys what, what I have here. I wonder if they would ever do lemon chow. I know this is uh, mill dyed for them. Yes. Their, so their Sunday morning line is mill dyed. Yeah. Um, and everything else is dyed in studio by the ladies. Yeah. But I wonder if lemon cello could be a, a crew color. Well, they have a gorgeous, they, like you said. They have yolk. They've got a gorgeous new yellow, yeah, which is totally calling my name. Um, but it isn't neon. It's like a yeah. bright, beautiful yeah. egg yolky. I love that lemon cello is pretty fabulous. I actually just bought some, some in their new a crew base mm -hmm. yeah do you guys know how close we are to the holidays the end of the year somebody said it was like 63 days and i thought what? don't even don't start that i'm not stressing this year i'm not either no this but is I'm, me not stressing right. do i look relaxed no, you don't you shouldn't stress i don't normally ever stress yeah at all yeah um hey heather, heather. First time, first time watcher, long time caller. <laughs> I love that. Um, that's so funny. And you know, it's like I'm gonna gift you with my presence, not yeah. my presence. <laughs> you get the gift of me, and I get not that all year long. <laughs> I no, I gift. totally agree, Jody. No, I agree. Like scaling back for COVID. I mean, missing our family was one yes. thing that was real crappy. It was horrible. And we talked about this before, the whole idea of just scaling back yeah. and just you being with me over the holidays Enjoy and enjoying a meal. things, a meal together and yeah. your time was enough. Yeah. And small gifts would help. But I small would- th Good things come in small packages. <laughs> um, That's no, kind of my I totally attitude. Agree. I feel like, listen, if you didn't get that when those Christmases were around where- we did not get together when the health advisory was, don't do it. No, we didn't. Mixing multiple families. I know a lot of people that did. And I that made me really mad because it didn't help what the situation was for all of us. So we did it. There were a couple of Christmases we did not get together mm -hmm. as a family. And it was awful. So that lesson of just being able to, first of all, how lucky to have a family that's mm -hmm. here to get together. Mm -hmm. um, and just that ability to hang out and enjoy each other's company. I don't need gifts. I, yeah. Although I do love giving gifts. Yeah. But I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I really, yeah. I really don't. But yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't enough. say no. The end. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, that's true. So I hear you. I love getting together at Mom's and Baking. Yes. Although... She seems to think she'll do that by last year. We yeah. were like, all I'm of a sudden, we get a bag of baking. I was like, I'm offended. Um, excuse me? Am I not good enough to join the baking? She had, what, do you have other daughters that you're baking with right. that I don't know about? Right. So it's probably just such a shit show when we go over that she's like, I'm just going to do this myself. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. So, but that's not happening this year. We're no, coming we're and we're inviting and we're Monica. Friends. <laughs> Who? We do. Anyway. Yeah. There we go. Decision made. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Zach's birthday is a week before Christmas. Uh, Our mom is two days after Christmas. I'm sorry, December baby. Such a bummer. But we, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh yes, Star said congratulations. <laughs> we hit fifty thousand, you guys. Thank you, subscribers. Tracy's family. getting nipple piercings. No. Oh, I thought that's what you said. No. No. I'm just. Kidding. And we're gonna film it. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. You no, know, you know what? It's really nice if people hang out here, if they could subscribe. It makes you feel really good. We appreciate it very yeah. much. Um, it is a thrill to... Hashtag to 100,000. Last track. Yeah, that's, it. that's so funny. Um, okay, there will be something spectacular if we hit 100,000. I don't know what it will be, but we will have time to think about it. That yeah. would be... Skydiving? Sure. Eh. I don't know. You'd have to push me out. You'd have to drug me. 
Maybe we go see our knitters overseas. It's we, never going to happen. You can agree to it. Okay. <laughs> you can say sure. We I'll- can meet somewhere and just anybody who wants to meet here. Meet there. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. This we're just thinking fun. out loud. This is it's fun. It's so fun. Um, should we talk about our kit really quick before we get going? Let's do that. Or do you want to do this? So, Star, don't buy this. Just telling you. Um, yes. So... In July, we start thinking every year we love doing something for winter holidays, whichever holiday that is that you you like to um, celebrate, right? Sometimes we treat ourselves, sometimes we treat friends, whatever. We love to do a yarny winter kit. Yeah, winter. So in July, I said to Jody, would you, Frankie Fight Gray Fibers, because she said, "What? Who? which dyer would we be interested in? And I said, well, I would love it. I don't know if you guys are into a big wholesale order. This was really fun. But what do you think about Frankie Gray Fibers being the winter kit mm-hmm. yarn this year? And and hell yes, we would love to. We were really really excited about this and really proud how everything came together. So Jody brought a bunch of minis. This was like we're sweating in July. This is we're sitting outside knitting and chatting. Um, the color palette was put together months ago. Actually, I had the samples and Tracy picked the yarn colors. Well, I said, what do you think? And you're like, yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just the way you just went, oh, I want that, 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 that. You're well, really, really good at picking colors. Well, let me share the yarn. We love the yarn. So the kit is a 50 gram of a sparkle um, sock yarn. Yeah. And it's got amazing speckles. It's called Fairy Lights. And then Jody and Jordan have these amazing um, tonals. Yeah. Right? So this is a sea spray, mm-hmm. lollipop, black cherry, and grasshopper. Yeah. Which we thought were really bright and fun and super contrasty. And that was the whole point. We wanted something really punchy and happy. Yeah. Right? We wanted the main color to be kind of like, I just think soft, but we wanted those pop of speckles. So all four of the tonals, you'll find the speckle in the main color. And I just love that there's that subtle sparkle on the pale gray. Oh, So it's really, really cute. I couldn't have loved it more. Um, and so then we were, we were going to design patterns to go with it, of course. Uh, and we thought this year it would be really fun mm. to do minis. And we kind of shared these last time. But now um, they are the kit. That's what this is. We've got... Can you please make this a full sock pattern? Sure. So we've got a selection of... What's this one called? That's the fairy light sock. Can you even with the It's just a simple texture, but it's got um, an optional fringe, but I feel like it's so cute. How much fringe for days? And lollipop forever. Yeah. I love it so much. There's a mosaic little tiny toque. And the kit actually comes God. with yarn bowler mini pom poms. Yeah. So everything you see is in the kit, including the pom poms. Got a cute little faded stocking cap where you use all the colors in the yarn. And of course, you can mix and match your colors how you want. Okay, this. You like this one? No, this. Um, a little mini color work mitten. I did the folded cuff version, but there's a ribbed option too. So you can just do a really cute little ribbed cuff, but it is, it's like a functioning mitten. I don't know who it's going to fit, but it is just a simple little color work mitten. I love that one too. I love the snowflake on that. Thank you. Love the snowflake. Thank you. Um, A really cute, because stripes always, right? How much do we love stripes? Feather and fan. A cute, yeah, super simple little tiny bit of wavy lace at the top and then just stripe it up. There is no kitchener stitch on these socks. You're just going to draw it together at the end with the last few stitches so you don't have to worry about that. Um, Jody, I just can't get over your colors. This. It's still, you know, we've worked on this for a long time. I feel like you should do a cowl in this. Okay, this was, again, they're very simple patterns. Super simple, super easy, and I just thought a little scarf would be a cute little ornament too and these are ornaments slash gift toppers tie it on a gift put it on your bulletin board do whatever you want with it they're just adorable i have mine out all year i think they're super cute i just think they're adorable they don't have to just be winter this is 10 rows of knitting yeah 
So that is how fast you do this. All the ends for this are the fringe. You do not weave anything in. So you knit a row, cut it, knit a row, cut it. And then at the end, you make your little knots and you're done. So, okay. No, this is fingering yarn. This is fingering. Everything is held double. So every pattern, you're holding two strands together. Yeah. So yes, DK can be substituted. Can, yeah. But absolutely. this isn't available. This is just available in the kit. These patterns are just in the kit. They'll come out. I don't know when, but they will be available on their own much later. Um, and then you're going to get your patterns in a book. And it is a uh, cardstock. Rick Bubble did an amazing graphic for us for this kit this year. It's a llama in a sweater pulling our grocery girl cart which is full of yarn balls and there's snowflakes. So this is our fairy They're ornament lakes. yarn balls. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> so it's just the cutest. So thank you so much to Diane. We put this little graphic on everything. Please tell me the fringe socks will be adult size soon. Just for you, Amanda. I'll get on it right away. I'll get some, um, I'll get a yarn kit. Look at these. And we went to our friends at Ebony and Ivory Candle Company, which is an amazing Alberta-owned women led they hand poured soy candles mm -hmm. this is they did a custom one for us it is a vanilla mint you guys it smells so good and it's got of course it's blue and it's got sparkle and it's just the cutest thing so you get a little four ounce candle you get your pair of mini pom-poms which are a surprise there's more than one pair um so you don't know what you're gonna get but they're all super cute and you get a sparkle acrylic needle gauge slash ruler it is just long enough to measure everything that you're going to need while you're doing your knitting in the patterns mm -hmm. but i find i use that straight ruler that small like i need two more inches on something or i use it all the time and bud said you have to do your measuring with a solid you do tape measure wiggly tape measures do not give you the best most accurate i mean pretty darn close but you're right yeah so if you have this little six inch straight hard ruler mm -hmm. i mean i think you're gonna find you use it all the time and we've never done one so no. this is this is it we're doing it now and you get a stitch marker medley so you get the rainbow circles and you get some of the um light bulb ones and of course i don't know why but we're obsessed with stickers so you're gonna get a fairy lights holographic sticker Okay, you guys. Which I love. I was, like, I know we did this. I am so proud of this kit. I think the combination of our yarn and your patterns, it's, I'm sorry, I just think it's amazing. It's, I'm just saying it's that. Really, thank you, Jody. I'm equally yeah, yeah. thrilled with it. And I feel like all the time, like, can you even say that? Like, you, Yeah, you can. You designed it. You, <laughs> you know, you did the colors. You did the yarn. Yes, I feel the same way. I'm really proud of it. Yeah. I hope people like it. I especially love um, laying out the pattern book and all of that That's stuff. good because that was like, okay, I'll do the yarn. You do the pattern. You're going to, there is a, a digital code on there. So yes. once the patterns are on Ravelry, you can have a copy in your digital library mm -hmm. with that code. So mm -hmm. at this point, that is the kit. It is $80. <gasps> hey, yes. It is in our shop. Um, and thank you for... Thank you for your mm. consideration or checking mm. it out. Um, I it was really fun. We're thrilled. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was what was I just thinking of when we were doing that? Who knows? Could I forget. Anything. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah. Um, should I show? You have FOs, Jody. I've been knitting. You guys, I have been knitting, but I don't have FOs. Okay. Well, show us what you're knitting then. Did I say, is there, hello, Kevin and Ray? Mm -hmm. Just Kevin, hello, usually. Hello, Urban Yarn. <gasps> Hi. Um, we almost popped in there during Knit City, remember? We were like, the weather was so bad and it was far away, so we didn't. But next time. Yeah. We loved Urban Yarn. So I am knitting the Easy V by who? S Caitlin Hunter? Yeah, I'm so jealous yeah. you started this, Jody. You guys, this is my, would you mind pulling it up on Instagram, please? Sure. I didn't print the, um the pictures first of all this is my first caitlin hunter pattern okay have you knit before i've knit the miserina okay i'm trying to think if i knit another one i buy all, like i love her designs yeah. i've got a million of them but i don't know that i've knit so many of them her this one blew my mind her pattern writing is beautifully done 
Yeah, so I mean, obviously she's a pro, right? There's the original version. Mm -hmm. She used um, Spin Cycle as the color work. That's why it looks kind of all marly. Yeah. And she used Ritual Dyes. I think they're DK or Worsted Base, whatever that is. Right. This was a really popular one. We saw a lot of these walking around Rhinebeck. We did. Yeah. It or is that so beautiful. Weekend. Yeah. Tracy gifted me a kit from Sonder. Good morning, Vincent. And I am knitting, I think with, okay, the main color is this, is denim. It's called 501s. Don't 501s. you think, when I look at that, I think this is something that would look amazing on you. I love it so much. This was actually one of their new fall colors that, or it just released for Knit City Montreal, that one. It was one of their new colors at this the time. This is my main color, and this navy light blue and butterscotch. That's actually this one. It's That's full, full English. English. This is full English, you guys, on the top. This is window shopping. And then what's this dark one? Oh, under the covers? Under the covers. Cover to cover. Cover to cover. Right? Not dirty sheets. Yeah, cover to cover maybe. Yeah. It is cover to cover. Okay. Um, it is so beautiful. It's a really classic, beautiful navy, right? Anyway, Jody, <gasps> I can't even. So you had given me a pink. Yeah. So I switched out the pink. I love what you did. I wanted to keep everything. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I it was took me a long time to put colors together, but at the same time, there were so many option possibilities. I love that you... Did what you love. Yeah. I love the warm pop of that toffee color. I knew I wanted that I color. I love that. There. I don't yeah, you it's so beautiful. So you guys, this is a you guys notice it's a really heavy or a really long um like call like ribbing. Like a V-neck ribbing. So yeah. tell me about this. Okay, so it was really interesting. If you guys can see, this is each side. You can see there's no increases here. Okay. There's increases. Like raglan kind of on the side of the rectangles like this. You're increasing here. Okay. And here on either side. But you're also increasing this little V in the middle. And there's the same back at the back. I can't wait for you to knit this because I look at it. I really don't love a wide neckline. It's my thing. Let I me tell you what I it. did. Okay, good. Because I would like to knit this, but I also don't want to have... Look at how snug. Open neck and have my bra strap showing. Look I at need this, to wear Tracy, already. I know. So figure it out so I can. No, I did. The size that I wanted to knit for my body, mm -hmm. I went down one size for the, I for cast stitches. on for one size smaller. And then this, I knit one extra row before I started the color work where I increased, um, Actually, it ended up being two rows. Um, I That's where I increased up to the size I needed for the rest of the sweater, right. if that makes sense. Brilliant. Yes, it makes sense. So I think I'm like almost two inches, an inch and a half smaller. I love that. So, but look, I didn't want that either with a really wide. And that's really pretty if that's the look you're going for, where it's really oversized on your shoulder. I think it's really beautiful and looks really beautiful. It just doesn't feel like me. Yeah. That's all. So and it's not... It's gonna it's gonna block out a little more, right? Jody, it's gonna look really good. But you guys, just like the the beautiful lines that this creates as you're increasing the rows here, and then this, there's no increases like here on each. It's really been fun. I, I love ribbing. I love that kind of the V looking where you, she's got you doing increase. It's almost like a shawl where you increase in yes. a center stitch, yes. right? Yes. I'm having so much fun. Did with you this. Um, swatch? No. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. But I'm only asking because your last sweater, Tracy, was I didn't so swatch. big. So okay, so I'm also once you know what? Once I get down a few rows after it's the yoke, too late to I'm going to measure. No, it's not too late to swatch. You could literally put this down and swatch today, and just. See no, that you're. Oh yeah, I'm right. My God, I'm not even doing what I said I you should do with a sweater because I said you should always swatch because it's so disappointing when you when it's not the fit that you want. Right. That's Especially when I just my, had a disaster. My number one 
um, mode. That's the only reason I swatch. Yeah. Is because I don't want to be giantly disappointed in either, oh, it's too small or it's too big. And it, I just get in the habit of it. Anyway, I should that's swatch or don't swatch. A lot of people don't swatch. Oh my God. What I actually did, you guys, too, is um, I did go up a size it, it for, I'm a five millimeter for the color work. That's I I I do actually that too. the 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 yarn the pattern I think said four millimeter. Okay, but that's like we have you. Here's the other thing why I asked about swatching. You've never knit a Caitlin Hunter pattern before. Like when I knit, I've knit a lot of Hohe patterns. I know that her gauge is looser than mine, so I always go up a needle size to swatch, and it's usually about the right size. Andrea Mowry is a tighter knitter than me, so I. Have knit a few of her things. So oh my God, you're so sometimes, right. I got to put this down and swatch. Sometimes. And Jody, it'll take, like, swatch, wash it. Tomorrow morning, it'll be dry. You'll right. know. But, I'm doing it, you But guys. only because you've never knit one of her patterns, too, where you think, oh. Because if she's saying four, but you get the same gauge on a 4.5, it doesn't really matter what the needle size is in the suggestions. No, you're because right. Because everybody's got... Anyway, I've just been swatch shamed. I hate yeah. bursting any bubbles. And I don't want to because I think what you're doing is gorgeous. But it would break your heart to have it be so. Because you won't rip it back I'll throw and re-knit it. So, Here's the thing. I'm at a good spot right now. I could, if it was really off, I could finish the yoke with what I'm doing. You could do more, like another, you could do the increases for a bigger size. You are not... This is nothing you would have to pull back at this point. Yeah, I'm doing it. You guys, I'm not Swatch. knitting another thing. Okay, you guys, and then I'll get back to you. Yes. It's funny you say that you because... You may be just fine. I think the pattern calls for four millimeter needles, but she does say in there, a lot of times she makes a note, but people go up one needle size for the color work. So I'm actually going up two needle size. Right. So maybe your body size is going to be 4.5 millimeter to get her gauge. Maybe you were doing exactly what you need to do. But if you want to know for sure, just need a little swatch. Okay, I'm doing it, you guys. Um, and I'm actually using this. Can I just show you? I know we've showed Jody, it before. I brought mine today. Because I can't... This is gift time for people. And if your local yarn shop carries these Coco Knits Makers boards, I can't stress enough how much it is a great gift. Mm -hmm. I use mine all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I'm using mine actually for two, I have two different charts going and it's, it's this thin when you want to carry it in your bag. It's just awesome. And it's metal. Like it's, it's not going to, it's craft. Uh, you guys, I, we've talked about it before. Get it. If you're ever wondering, you're on the fence, get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. that good. Yeah. It's not gimmicky. It is actually a super, super useful, thoughtful tool, which I think everything of Coco Knits is, but um, and my dream is to maybe for them to have a half size one day. What, sh what way half size? Um, oh, like just smaller, both ways? a smaller version. Both ways. Yeah. 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 Right. Cause yeah. I don't always have, a, I don't need a full page chart, but lots of my charts are kind of littler. Yeah. I would, Take buy, our word I would for buy it. a half size, but this is fantastic. It's so funny. You brought yours today. Cause I was like, I'm going to show this again because it's one of those things that I, I, I can't get along, along with um, without. Favorite bag. Do you use yours all the yes, time? Yes, it's right here. Yes. You guys, the whole, I might like knock off a little bit of this, like just take a note of the size that she uses, the general size. This is incredible, the size of bag. Yeah. Just a little bit deeper, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you won't believe what I have in here. Like five skeins of yarn skeined up, my maker's board, the sweater on the go, my needles. Right. And it's it's not bulging. Like you're still just fine to carry it. The canvas is super heavy. So this is from Prado Delana. It's made by Tanny Casey. Um, you can buy them in the Prado Delano shop when they have them. Love. Yeah. I totally yeah. love it too. I'll be buying the next one too. Oh, I can't wait to see what the next it's one gonna is. It's going to be fun to collect every one. So these are silk screened shots of their sheep that they have on their farm. So, yes, they're not going to be the same. Like, what a cutie. Don't you just want to... 
I hope it's Hanzi, but I'm not going to be disappointed if it's not. But any of them were ador- would be adorable. He's a close personal friend. Now, we just so. met Hanzi and we connected. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, like I said, I wanted to get going on gift knitting. So November rolled around, and how about this? I'm ca- I'm cast on yarn from Rhinebeck. You I did? still have the yarn. <laughs> Our first trip to Rhinebeck oh, that I have not so cast sweet. on. Hey, what did you get specifically from the first year that you haven't cast on? Um, some rustic, rustic yarn mm-hmm. that I bought from Long Local. Island. Long yeah, Island. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm going to knit with it. Yeah. Um, I just haven't yet, so mm-hmm. I'm kind of proud of myself that I cast on yarn we just got. Um, I have one more question about my sw- my sweater. Okay. Before we go on, S- Amy just suggested wash my yoke. Mm-hmm. And measure those stitches. Is that going to be accurate being a different size needle? Yes. It's your gauge. We're only measuring your gauge. It doesn't matter what size needle But I'm going to be going down is. a size needle for the rest of the sweater. But you, does her pattern give you gauge in color work and gauge in stockinette? Excellent question. Okay. That's actually a great idea. Your yoke is already a swatch for the color work. You could soak it and block it overnight. And that can be your 20 gauge. stitches and 26 rounds in stockinette and in color work on the main needles. Okay, so that's right. So you would get that gauge on a bigger needle in your color work and then you'd go down. So yes, that's your gauge. You don't have to knit a gauge slot. Okay, I'm not wrapping my brain around this, but it's I'm not going to continue so, the whole sweater in that size. No, but you would know that that's the gauge you get. That's the gauge you're knitting, period, of the sweater. Because you don't want loose up here and not down there so the reason you would continue that gauge by put it going down one needle size for stockinette Mm -hmm. but it's going to be the same gauge got it so if you block your yoke you can measure that as your what gauge am i knitting at okay and you know that if once you switch to stockinette you're going to go down a needle size but you'll continue in that gauge Okay. Does that make sense? It does. I'm. I'm gonna. To- I know you're making. I know you're right on this. I'm just not it's following the, the logic. Okay. Here's what. Here's what you normally do. You normally would take your 4.5 millimeter needle and knit a stockinette switch swatch in the round. Okay. Measure the gauge. You would automatically just say, "Well, I'm gonna bump up my needle size for the color work." Because I'm tender. And off you go. You're doing it in reverse. Okay. You're starting in the color work on the bigger needle, measuring your gauge, and now you're going to say, okay, I'm going to go down one needle size to continue this gauge in stockinette. Got Does it. that make sense? Yeah. You're just doing it in Because I'm tighter reverse. in the color work. Right. It doesn't even matter what your needle size is because you just want to know what your gauge is. I'll keep you around. Every once your in a while. Your wealth of knowledge. And that's, that's such a good tip that someone said. Just block your yoke. Yeah. That is your swatch at this right. point. Right. Okay. Brilliant. See the community comes together. I love that. Um, okay. Okay. Show me. Okay. So you, Again, bravo. In my bag. Yeah, I know. We're twins. Um, you can't get this bag anymore because they're out of this. They are sold out of this one. But, but more is coming. Follow them. Get their newsletter. You will know when they get more. Yeah. So that's that. Okay. I cast on... The softest, fluffiest yarn I've ever, ever felt. Was it so fun to knit with? So <gasps> fun to knit with. Wow. This is from the Lamb and Kid. It's called Big Birdie. It is a um, Surrey alpaca silk, but it's Aran weight. So it's the same thing. It's a bunch of Surrey alpaca and a little bit of silk, but it is super, it's chunky. Like, look at it. You guys. So when we were there, um, Sarah and Caitlin is all as the designer of this wavy gravy everything sweater wrap, and she, they were wearing the wrap in this yarn, and I just thought I want to do the cowl. I've got two colors. I don't have a bunch of yarn. I've got two skeins, so I'm going to do the cowl. So I went and bought the cowl pattern. It's done in like a worsted weight yarn. So I was like, huh? I thought it was. <laughs> Huh, that's not what I remember. But that's okay because I also bought the wrap pattern. So I bought the wrap pattern, saw their needle size and kind of her gauge for that. And and then thought Because okay, the wrap is Aaron. The wrap is is in this. Okay. Yeah, in that yarn. So the wrap is actually designed in this yarn. 
get the yarn, knit the wrap. But I wanted the cowl and I only had two colors. So I combined that. Mm -hmm. And basically all I did was I went up to a six millimeter needle. If you want to just buy the cowl pattern, I went up to a six millimeter needle and knit one less repeat of the pattern in the round. Okay. So you can follow that pattern exactly. Um, and because I didn't know how far my yarn would go, I actually knit it upside down. Normally, when you start it, she wanted you to start your ribbing flat for four inches and then join in the round and get knitting. But I didn't know how much yarn I was going to have. I didn't know if I would have enough for four inches of ribbing. Okay. So what I did was I cast on in the round and started knitting. And then at the end, I just did ribbing until I... Like a I, split hem. Yeah. Then I just started knitting flat. Okay. So, and I did it until I was tired of doing it. I have this little bit of yarn left. I could have done a little bit longer, mm -hmm. but I thought, it's long enough. But look how much I have left of the, this is called Sweetie, I think. And this is called Volare. It's actually not just plain navy. It's a dark, dark tealy color. So anyway, now I have this giant cowl. Is it a gift? Well, I don't know who would... Tracy. It actually, I thought to myself, oh, it kind of goes with my winter coat. Yes, you should keep it. So I was mad at myself thinking, I could have just had a gift knit. I don't know who else would want this bright color. I oh love God. it. I love it. That it weighs so nothing and it's beautiful. warm. I love the split hem. How it enables you to wear it kind of... It, totally. To, to have it f lay flat. Yeah. Oh, you guys. Caitlin's pattern was amazing. It was written in a way that was like simple, right? Yeah. Not complicated. This is, it's very specific and written out very clearly. It was a like a treat to follow. Um, but I love, cowls are just like that where you can substitute all kinds of yarns, change your gauge and just, mm -hmm. you know, you can have the same pattern and knit it in a million different yarns if you just want to change your needles and stuff. So loved it. This split, this is yeah, really the hot. split hair. Oh and I, I, I also like the when people when designers feel it. It's so good, so good. Isn't it nice when designers make it kind of bell shaped where Me too. where it goes around your so you've got more room around your shoulders. Yeah. But the split hem, that's oh, clever. Isn't it nice? Yes, I'm crazy about a chevron forever. Chevrons forever. I've never knit a chevron. I don't think it's very simple. It is literally a. A simple round with a few, like a... Decrease and an increase. And the next round is plain knitting. Really? So it's a two-round pattern. By the time you've done a few rows, you have memorized this. You guys, can we just for a split second have a look at this? How increases and... <coughs> increases and decrease make your stripes move like this? Listen, it is... It is it's not color work. It's not color work. It's not, and it was so fun and so that simple. That is so cool. So there's the original version, and I'm pretty sure it was knit in like a worsted weight yarn. Caitlin is wa the Wanderlust knitter, so you can follow her on Instagram. Um, you can go get her patterns. Which one is this? Oh, this is the Wavy Gravy Wrap, which actually has giant charts. Like her pattern, I feel like... She likes patterns like I do, where the chart is huge. It should be huge. Right? So. Because <laughs> I did my hat vent is like this big. I know. I know. I love it. The bigger, the better. I think so for yeah. most things. No, for most things. Um, anyway, I loved it. So, and then I was, I thought to myself, I'm knitting everybody a wavy gravy cowl. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so I. How many of you cast on? Well, I went, remember I told you, I went on oh, Lamb yeah. and Kid and I had a cart. Full of big birdie. <gasps> Tell them what you did. It was a big birdie event. It was. And it was like, oh, look at that. I'm going to catch it. And I had a few colors. And then I was actually out and talked to somebody. And then I forgot to check out. So at work on Monday, she's like, I don't think I checked out. And she didn't. Her cart was still I'm back. looking for my order confirmation. I'm such an idiot. I actually don't remember doing that ever before. So whatever. It's all good. The yarn will come back. Um... And I'll just do it in something else for this time. But I would highly recommend this Big Birdie is awesome. And I think there's enough. I think I would have to weigh it. But you might, you, you could do a half colors. cowl, you guys. Like really the only one you need a full skein for is that main color. Mm -hmm. Right? Like you could do little stripes of something else. Mm -hmm. 
It's a beautiful yarn. And if yarn. you don't have enough of one, change your stripes. Have your main color yes. half half the, the chevron Listen, stripe width. You could do a two row of another pop of color right yeah. here. I actually ripped this back because I added gray. So the re where I, wa I was at our local yarn shop, Joe's Yarn Garden. That's why I forgot to check out. But I did add gray into here thinking I needed the the yardage to get a mm. decent length. And I didn't need it. I'm glad you ripped back. Me too. I love just the two colors. Me too. Yeah. But I okay. mean, you can do, right? You can do lots yes. of things. Is this drops air? That's drops air. It's magic. So I got a bunch of drops air. Did you? Oh, yay. Here's the pattern I wanted to talk about. I thought I lost it. Anyway, that's so love funny. It. Cast on, knit in the round, bind off. Mm -hmm. Bob's your uncle. There's a gift. <laughs> I don't have the, an uncle named Bob. The end. Okay. God, look at you. Snaps. Snaps to Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew someone that would want this color. We have to talk quieter because Marianne is at work. Marianne, put in your headphone. Do you guys, do we sound better? Like, yeah, for any regulars, do we sound better? Do we sound louder or clearer? I sort of clicked on our, our video to look at comments and I thought we sounded kind of tinny. So we were like, Hey we Kev, went, Ray. We went to the profesh, Kevin and Ray, needles at the ready and said, what do you guys use for a microphone? We want to be like you. Yeah. And oh, okay. People are saying, yes, we sound better. Okay. <gasps> Finally caught alive. Hi, Brian. Brian. For sure. Better audio. You guys would not believe this microphone. It's gigantic. You have to it's use two huge. hands. It's huge. Okay. That's what she said. It's a little phallic -y. I can a see why Kevin and Ray like it. Right. But whatever. Um, okay, good. I'm so glad. Um, anyway, that's that. That's what I did. Louder and clearer, says Hillary. See? That might be annoying for some people. I was just going to say, who wants our voice louder or clearer? <laughs> Yuck. Okay, Jode. Okay, you guys, I don't have... Um, is that all for knitting for you? Tracy. I'm judging. I told no, you. I'm not judging. I had not. I know how busy you've but been. But wh what I want to say is hat vent is live. Oh my God. Yay. So I wanted to show this again. Um, my hat vet 22. Can I hold a few? Yeah. Jody's the queen of mini hats. I, that's what I think anyway. I can't even. Color work. Cute little eyelets yep oh my gosh jody awesome reverse stockinette with some twisted rib which is totally look at your colors you put together tell us about the yarn okay this one's got some twisted rib and some little cables and then this is a latvian braid and some color work you are so nordic Whatever. and fancy okay look at that again for the fourth year in a row did i think did i use it for everyone i think i have I think you did i yeah. think this is a thing um, Hugh Loco, I've teamed up again with Nicole and her team at Hugh Loco. I'm using her brand new, um, mini set and it's called Ribbon Candy. Jody, it's awesome. Right? So, um, I, I used most of the tone, most of the semi-solids here with some speckles thrown in. I... I'm so in love with this set. Why don't you take it and do a giveaway on your page? I am. This was supposed to be. Okay, I think good. that's what it was because they said, Nicole, please send me another. Um, and then you could do. I'm going to awesome do a giveaway. giveaway. I just want to show you guys really quickly the color inspiration because Nicole is so good about um, what colors are you thinking? Do you have an inspiration picture? All that. Um, that must be very helpful for a dyer. Okay, right? you guys. I can't get over the so red and blue. This. Oh, wow. Can you believe it? Yes, because she's so good. They're so good, the whole team. But that's incredible. So I had, I think, three of uh, three inspirations that I really liked, and she loved this one the most. But can you believe how beautiful this is? I love it. Is? It's, it's that modern, fun, poppy, Dr. Seuss. That's what I kind of feel. Kind of color palette, right? Yeah, but not the traditional modern where it's like the mint and aqua, hot pink and red totally, kind of. Totally, totally. So um, I love it. I do too. And so the mini pom-poms are by Yarn Bowler. And we have a bunch at grocerygirlsnet.com if you yeah. want um, pom-poms to go on your little hats. And I didn't There's quite... also tons of yarn in that kit if you want to make pom-poms. You've got more than enough. Tons. 
and there's you know like Tracy's with her minis there's the optional eye cord for an ornament or hang Yay. or there's an option to do a long one and tack them on to a clothesline a clothesline I love that so idea so that's Hadvent 22 is now out I will be doing a giveaway so don't forget to follow um me on Instagram because that's on where Mrs. all Brown of Mrs. Brown's bags okay yeah, Jody, so that's good. very, very exciting. I love that this is an annual thing for you. I literally it's look forward to it every year. I, you guys, I'm going to knit some. Thank you. They really are, like you say, double-stranded or DK. They knit up so fast. You don't Scraps. have... Scraps. And I mean, you could knit... I. That's one of the things I love making for people, especially people that don't knit. Um, and they can hang them on their tree or whatever they mm -hmm. want to do with them. But it's also not a ton of work for us. And I didn't get around to it, but our kit yarn is also perfect for this. Oh, any minis? Who doesn't have a bunch of and scraps or minis? Or yes, yeah. Jody. So each hat range it ranges from ten grams to fourteen grams for the hats. Right. In fingering weight yarn, so you'll need even less for DK. Right? No, it's about the same, right? Yeah, it would be the same weight. Right. You'd just use. But it's one just like little tiny, like. You, you really need scraps. Yeah. So it was it was fun. I was actually amazed how far a 20 gram mini skein goes. Yes. I'm not super like versed mm -hmm. in knitting minis. And now you are. Items. Now yes. I am. Now I know how much it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm shocked how much how much yardage you can get out of it. Um, okay. So last time I shared. I don't want to go too much into this, but this was my wild rose cowl. The original one was fingering weight in Moondrake Corydale fingering. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely amazing. Paula did a knit along from Mayak. And so I knit one in Mayak and spin cycle for the colorway sport weight. Mm -hmm. And it same thing. Didn't do anything different to the pattern. It just turned out bigger, which is what I shared last time. So it sure turns out a little bit longer, a little bit wider. Um, but when I knit this this wavy gravy in the giant Aran weight yarn, I thought I'm gonna try a one of these in a wild rose in the Aran weight. So I use drops air. Look at how the pink with the dark black background pops your pattern. Is it the exact same pattern? It's the uh, no. So what I ended up doing is I loved it, but I also was planning on doing an update to the original pattern for the sport weight mm -hmm. to include a picture. Mm -hmm. I love how it's turned out in all these different weights. And to mm -hmm. me, they're very different. Um, and you can do anything you want in any gauge, but I thought I'll give you what I did. So when this turned out so well, I was like, okay, I'm also going to include an Aaron weight version. So I wrote up, um, I wrote up, the pattern mm -hmm. and sent it off to Kate and mm -hmm. it's been tech edited. Um, people that purchased the pattern, it's already gone out. The update is out there. The pattern is on sale 30% off. Now you get three versions in the same pattern. So until Sunday, you can get a discount, but I enjoyed it. This one, of course, is like a weekend project. It's five and a half millimeter needles. Um, but let me show you my next one I want to make because Crazy. I love it. I do love, so this is, all you need two for the main color and one only for this is how much is left over for the color work and you really only need about 10 grams of the second ball so if you had two of these and two of these if you switch the main color and the other one you would get two cowls there's enough yarn or three no um you only need so this this ball could be contrast color if i had another ball of Got this it. For another cowl. So if you had two of each, mm -hmm. you can get two cowls by mm -hmm. switching your yarn. And that's the same for the fingering. If you switch your main color and contrast color, you can get two cowls out of two skeins. Because there's so much yardage on a fingering weight. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, if anybody's looking at quick this cowls. This next thing you're showing me, it's magical. Listen, when I used color change yarn in this cowl, it was one of the most happy things I've ever knit. I get it. I get why people want okay, it with we, this yarn. We get it. Like, shut up already. I get it. So what I did was, 
I was out at our friend Joe's, Joe's Yarn Garden. Is her name Joe? Yeah. So you, if it, people are around and they don't go to Joe's, you are missing out. There's amazing yarn there and such good help. It's in Stony Plain. It's about a 30-minute drive. Right. So she calls it a destination yarn shop, which I think is so cute. Yeah. But it is totally worth the drive. All of our yarn shops have different things to offer. And so which they I are love. all mm -hmm. worth the drive. Okay. So my second, this was my original swatch before I did this cowl. Um, just to see what my well, gauge would be. Well, now you're just be. showing off. You guys. You guys. It's not me. It's the yarn. I. What is this magic? So this is Estelle, which is awesome. It's a color. Now, Amanda, the Crafty Jackalope, has been knitting Deb cardigans in this yarn. It is, is that a, what this is? Yes, I think so. I think it is. You have no idea. I'm pretty, if I had to, if I was in, oh, she yes. said yes. If I was in Vegas, I would put yes, everything this. down on that. So this is, is the cream colored drops air and whatever this is, color flow in the color, I don't know, sunset, 209. Um, there is so much yarn in here. And this is technically, I think, a smidge heavier, but not to the point where you would notice. So that was, come on. What? Okay, I'm blown over by this yarn. And what that's doing, I think it's also, Tracy, that you put the natural there and the colors that, it's this one? Yep. <gasps> so I haven't nice. even gotten to all the colors. I just did a quick swatch, right? But look how mm. fluffy the yarn is when you... Are you kidding? So they are slightly different in the way that this is mostly alpaca fiber blown into a tube. This is uh, merino blown into a tube equally so soft. This, well, this this is a little softer this is very soft still. listen i would put these two together any day of the week but check out the deb cardigan because that is what amanda is using for this yarn it is affordable 11.99 for this giant ball um and soft and luxurious i just think knitting heavy weight cozy things are makes great gifts so that's where I was going with this one. My next one is going to be... I need a hat. Okay. I know. The hat's coming. Okay, good. I'll make you a hat. Maybe... <gasps> I just need the pattern. I'll, I can knit it. Okay. I'll Tracy, give you the pattern. It's beautiful. Anyway, so that pattern is out. I had so much fun knitting it. The black one is a gift. I love this topic. I love this topic that you've taken one pattern... And you've knit it in fingering, but now you've knit it in sport and given us tips. Now you've knit it in Aaron. Yeah. That's it. I'm not adding any more. No, no. But also you've you've given us a million ideas on what you can do with one pattern. Well, I really love the, the motif on that. I love the flower. I love the little triangles. And, and to, I just love color work. You can do mm -hmm. this with any of your color work patterns, right? I also played around with an I-cord edging. I do like an eye. So there's the ribbing. This was literally a swatch. This was twisted rib on a smaller needle, regular rib on a bigger needle. Oh, twisted rib is way nicer. If it's a one by one rib, I think it always should be twisted. Don't you think? I love them. Yeah, they're just, they're a different look. Yeah. I love them both. No, I love them both. You're but right. But you're right. This, the whole sculptural, yeah. it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, so I might knit a few more of these for gifts. A hat would be awesome idea. That yarn is I so am planning deep. a sport weight hat and mittens. Is, is there a whole bunch of color combos in this? So many color combos of that. Okay. So, and I bought two balls. I, do you know, I could knit a striped sweater with this much. Like, there's tons of yarn on here. And it's, and it's 12 Canadian dollars. Yeah. It's very affordable. So, I, I did not I do know this. believe you, you can, I think the Crafty Jackalope must sell this, too. Yeah. You could definitely go check that this out. This is a really pretty one with the navy, and it's got some of that caramel butterscotchy. With yeah. So I bought a bunch of colors of Drops Air and this, and I'm just gonna make some stuff. And it's vi and it's very affordable. There's ten colors, you guys. Ten colors. Yeah. So that's isn't awesome. that funny? How okay? So we love the color changing spin cycle yarn hero. Yeah. Anybody who makes that amazing 
um, this is totally different. Like it color changes, but it, it's fluffy and it's that blown in technology yeah. that I mean, we fell in love with Drops Air. You knit a sweater yeah. in it, and then I was like, My "Turtle, you no, guys, yeah, Turtle Dove too." It was black. That's wool folk. No, your second. You did the Turtle Dove too. Do I have in, two turtle doves at home? Yes. Get in your cl get closet that you can't God. open. Get in there. Um, <laughs> You're you, right. Yeah, you did. So your turtle dove two is so turtle dove two, which is also Melissa's pattern from when she was at Espastrico. It's free pattern, mm -hmm. great pattern. Mm -hmm. Is knit for is designed with this yarn. The original turtle dove was designed with wool folk luft, which is phenomenal, but way higher price range. Yes. So it's really nice to. I have a pattern, slightly smaller gauge, and and a, so honestly, knit it. This I actually okay. Full disclosure: I have two turtle doves being knit right now. One with drops air. Jody, you're so lucky. I know. One with pink drops air, baby, baby, baby pink, and one with drops wish, which is bulky. Which is that exact yarn, but it's bulky. So that could be used probably for the first turtle dove. Turtle yeah, dove two. I have one and two being knit. There you go. Okay, how about this? I was at our friendly local chiropractor twice last week and it was after the snow had fallen and I was in two different sweaters on both visits and the lady that runs the office at the front she's like do you have do you would she said do you only wear hand knit sweaters I said yeah I said that was my goal when I started sweater knitting to phase out anything that wasn't made by me or hand knit and she said you are so she said well do you knit the same one over and over and I just thought to myself Kind of. Not really, but you do get a style that you think looks good on you and you like to knit. But I said to her, not exactly it's the same, but I do have like certain... You have a favorite shape. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, she she's, was adorable. I love Natalie. She is uh, yeah. adorable. I love going there. Anyway, she's a hoot. So that's it. That's my puffy yarn slash I cowl in... update. Actually, they have a running room. It's like sells yes. runners and running stuff. I went in one day and I said... I'm not sure if you know, but I'm not a runner. <laughs> uh, but Pick I wanted your to jaw look at up shoes. Off the floor. Yeah. Did you get some? I just tried on a pair. Those Coda shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except why he, didn't you buy them? Because okay, I'm sure there's other there's style different styles. They had one style. The the sole of it went so far out. I couldn't for stability. Foot looked like a club foot listen i'm buying these for fashion. not not a club foot but like it looks like square yeah and just say listen i'm buying these for fashion um <laughs> this do you have worth... anything cuter <laughs> totally i know these are probably really good for my feet for running let's take that off the table but let me say this i walked around that store in these runners and i kept saying wow if i was on my it was like a nurse like yeah. if i was in yeah. a profession on my feet you guys right. that would be the runner good to know Holy cow. Okay, I wanted to share something else I got out at Joe's. Okay. I thought it was so nice. And something that I hadn't seen. And you guys, I'm a big fan of lots of commercial yarn. So I thought I would share this commercial yarn. This is Superba Alpaca Luxury Sock. Look at the halo. That's gorgeous. It says Tracy. it's fingering weight, I think. But I, oh no, 310 meters for 100 grams. Sporty. So it's like sport. And it's 62% wool, 23% polyamide, 15% alpaca. So if you're going to knit it with socks, if they're going to be fuzzy and strong. Ooh, they're nice. And pretty warm. I thought this would be really nice for Color work mittens, socks. mittens or socks. Um, it's so funny. I think to myself, I would never knit this weight of yarn. No? Only if I'm holding Jody, it double. You would double strand it. But listen, if you had something like that at home, how cute would the little mini hats in a fuzzy yarn? Yes. Listen, the mohair people are going to add mohair to your hats. Yes. Somebody said bed socks. Yes. So this is 300. Um, if you knit ankle I bed would, socks. I would use that. Right? It's really, real. There's a lot of yardage. How many grams is that? 100 grams, oh. 310 meters. It's really and nice. And $25 a ball. Yeah. yeah. But I'm also thinking this would be an incredible sweater. Mm-hmm. Anyway, beautiful. Beautiful I love halo. finding stuff and just sharing it. That's Me all. too. Oh, okay, I don't have any more knitting. Keep going. Okay, I only have one more thing. Um, I started. Okay, you know, people have been knitting that Sophie scarf, which is really cute. I want it's one. tiny. They're very cute. Um, they're very cute. 
But there's also the newest pattern in that family. Yeah. Is the Sophie shawl. So it's slightly, it's actually three sizes. So you can, this is, I think the big size. Um, so I cast it on, was shopping my stash. Who are Look you? Look what I picked. I tried to buy this. Why? I have some. No. Okay, go on. Um, this is Louie and Lola's in their Merino Possum yarn. It is like luxury, beautiful. Speaking of halos. Wow. Feel how soft. Like it feels like cashmere. And it's funny because it says it's fingering weight. Like the yardage is amazing. You get tons of yarn on here. 600, 465 yards. Yeah. And it's an 80 Merino mm -hmm. 20 possum. But it to me is very sport weight. It's plumper. Very plump. So you're getting tons of yardage on a skein, which is great. So I cast on the Sophie shawl in this for a gift. I don't know who it's going to be for. Tracy. My gauge is slightly finer, I think. I don't know what kind of yarn she used. Maybe she used a DK. But it's a five. I'm able to knit this yarn on a five millimeter needle. And look okay. at the gauge. Like it's She knitted on a sport 50 grams, 164 yards. Oh, no. There's a bunch of different yarn. Never mind. But still, that doesn't seem that much heavier. There's this. There's 50 grams or 109 yards. I, I think the point is you can knit this in lots of different yards. I love that. You guys. But this is a five millimeter needle and technically fingering weight yarn. And look at it. And it's going to bloom, I bet. And I think it's going to bloom too. You're right. So it is super simple. It's a six row repeat and you do a little increase. So I mark the row I do my increase on and however many wrong sides, those are your garter bumps. So I just count however many garter bumps and then I know that's my next Sorry, increase. how often are you increasing? Well, say you had a 10 row repeat and you would have five wrong side rows. Like when you yeah. look at the pattern. Then you would count five garter bumps. Oh, yes, the next so you're not round keeping. is my increase. So you don't have to go back and look. So you don't time. have to go back. Yeah. And, um, it's got a built-in I-cord edging, which is so lovely and simple. I don't know who it's for, but I really like it. I don't know when so I'm stopping. Nice. So you increase, increase, increase up to some point, And then all of a sudden, you're it's now a decrease every so rows. So you come back down to the other end, and it will be like six stitches at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're widening and then you get to the middle and then you start decreasing it to the I same. I love that. Super simple. Okay. So Louis and Lola, you guys, this is perfect timing. This yarn is not included, but right now they're having a dyed to order event. She is. On all of her bases or a lot of her bases until all the slots are full. Her yarn's so it's beautiful. If you're ever interested in Louis and Lola and thought, oh, I'd love that color, now's your time. You can get. Like the same effect with fingering weight and surreal alpaca or fingering yes. weight and mohair. Mm -hmm. um, but if you are interested in this merino possum yarn, it is kind of a limited base. Follow them. Mm -hmm. Get on their newsletter list. She will let you know when they have it. <sighs> this is what I wanted. I want a sweater in this yarn. So I thought, oh my God, I died to order. It I went only comes right in over. this weight. Like you know you'd have to double strand it or knit it in this Yes. Way. But Jody, you could knit it on the same needle probably that you're going to be knitting your EZV. Right. Like you like a five really millimeter. don't have to double strand it. I'll knit this in a five millimeter. Like look how great that is. So I thought, yes, possum yarn. Was She'll it get it again. I know she will. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you follow. But, but yes. feel it. Like put that on. It's so you luxurious. Guys, this, is, this is a beautiful base. I don't know how much yarn I'm going to need. Like look how much I still have left. Yeah. <gasps> I think, I think maybe a ball and a half, but then I can make little fingerless gloves to go with it. Maybe this is for Jocelyn. I have no idea. I'm literally knitting this just because I love the feeling of the yarn. Maybe you keep it. No, I don't so think so. I would knit one for myself though. It's not that I wouldn't keep it for any reason other this than. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. You're totally right. Um, wow. If you guys can get yourself, get a skein of this and knit something that's going to be close to your skin. This is the undyed base. This is Amanda's not even a color. This is the natural. What about adding a sparkle? You totally could. Are you kidding? You guys, yeah. I'm going to be knitting my daughter. Georgia is getting a drops air 
blue and rainbow sparkle cowl. She's gonna love for Christmas. It. Yeah, she wants sparkle. Okay. What? 69 triple X made a bad comment? Star, <laughs> I know you gave me that tip on how to do whatever it was last time, and I forgot all about it. You're the worst. I know. Listen, I don't know how I got in charge of tech stuff because I don't know anything. I don't know. But listen, I've got to sign back in to Grocery Girl so I can switch between accounts, and then I'll help do it with Star. Sure. Um... This is gorgeous. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Yeah, I love it too. Beautiful. Who knew a possum? Those little mess pesky critters. So I said to Georgia, I said, this is merino possum here. And she went, ew. No. <laughs> Clearly, you don't know anything. Right. So beautiful. Anyway, love it. Um, what was I gonna show? Okay, you guys, this. If someone is thinking that is so cute. That they want to knit something. Christmassy, but maybe not. And it doesn't have to fit. I love these kind of gifts. My cats were eating. I thought you said like cats. Coco um, likes to chew on paper, I guess. This is called Jingle Bell Christmas Tree Pillow. That and is adorable. This, tr this too can be one of those items where you can just use whatever weight yarn and that will determine the size of your finish. And you finished. could put felt balls. You could do the jingle bells. You could do whatever you want. That's super cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah, really cute. I love it's that. It's intarsia, and that's not going to be hard. Do you know, I've never done intarsia and really want to do something it's intarsia. It's fun. That would be easy, easy peasy, basic intarsia. Is intarsia in the round different than back yes, and forth? I actually don't know how to do intarsia in the round. I've only ever done flat. I want to do intarsia in a hat. Yeah. I want to try that. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I wanted to share the bag that my gift, my this project is in. I like that. How cute is this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so our friend Sarah is Wild Strand. Where's her little thing? Here it is. She's Wild Strand handcrafted bag. She had a trunk show at a local yarn shop recently. And oh. big deal, right? And I said to her, please let me know when these typewriter bags go in. I was stocking the shop. I'm like, well, they're not there yet. They're not there yet. Um, she sent it. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. did. Yeah. Uh, She's so generous i said i love it and part of the reason like it's just a little bit different right she's got this beautiful chevron webbing and this is kind of like a linen but i have a, a giant thing i would love oh, to buy is. a vintage beautiful typewriter i love typewriters it can I, just sit somewhere i love them and i just okay, thought I this that. color was beautiful this combo she has this in other colors but if you're looking for an adorable bag sarah's are great would you need it to be functional? The typewriter? Yeah. Not necessarily. You just want to look at it and have it as something you see. But it's shiny and cute. Yeah. I mean, I'd love it if it worked. Yeah. So we could type rude messages on it. We used to have one at work, but it was electric, yeah. right? The OG. Oh, I God. used to use that. That's so funny. Anyway, beautiful gift idea. Um, a nice bag for your nitty friends. Oh, I thought you meant a uh, vintage typewriter. Oh, no. My bra's poking. The way I've done intarsia in the round is very similar to back and forth. Oh, oh okay. Vincent. Um, do you, do you guys see this sweater? Yes. My printer. As much as I love it, you guys, I don't know. It must be because it sits for so long without using yeah, color. Why does it do that? Do you see? I'm so in love with Thea Coleman's patterns. What? Everyone I see what? is like, I want to wear that. Not every one that I see. She's a, such an amazing designer. Wow. This nice. one specific. What? Well, not all of them. No, no. N not all of them for me. Right. Because she does the beautiful cabling and, right. and lots of texture. So you're thinking you could see and yourself knitting I don't this one. gravitate towards those necessarily. I can appreciate what amazing, beautiful right. designs they are. This really jumped out at me. Okay. And all of her stuff is named after drink cocktails. This is called Whiskey Neat. Yeah, that's so cute. Just, this is just for me the right amount of all over texture. It's, there's some ribbing. That's beautiful, There's just Jody. a small amount here and then again on the wrist. No, not on the wrist like again. Tw twisted. Looks like it's a pearl. Tiny little cables down there, right? With like a pearl. But like the this up here to the bust is... Stock. Straight stockinette Love and it's it. raglan. I just think this is stunning. I think it would be really beautiful on too. Like I've been doing all these horizontal stripes, which is probably not <laughs> the best thing for me. So now these vertical lines, I think it would look beautiful on. Mm -hmm. 
I just think this is classically stunning. I do. I agree. And lots of hers are like worsted weight. Oh, DK Tia, weight. you had me at worsted. So that um, Brooklyn Tweed shelter that I bought myself for my birthday, mm. I've really been thinking about casting that on for myself. This is so I beautiful. have sweaters to finish, but it's in my brain. This, I can see myself knitting. Yeah, Thea. totally. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. I love it. I I have a a dream knitting slash I think it's gonna happen in December. I I can't decide which sweater to knit my, for myself, so I've decided to knit my husband a sweater. Who are you? I don't know. I love that for you though. I, I love that for you. <laughs> I love that for your husband. Okay, look at this swatch. Feel the swatch. It's insanely beautiful. Okay, let me guess the yarn. Is it Barrett Wool? Yes. <laughs> Look, I don't even know the tag. You're a savant. It is, a, this is Barrett Wool Company's Wisconsin Woolen Spun Worsted. It is. It's beautiful. An amazingly gorgeous, fluffy, light. Look at the crispness of the stitches and the pearls, like all of that. So it's I have beautiful. seven skeins of this. Is that enough? I. I mean, when you look at the label and the yardage, no, that's probably not enough. But I, I can knit it at a looser gauge. See, I'm not, if you're looking at a pattern with 20 stitch gauge, no, mm -hmm. it's not enough. If I'm looking at a pattern with 17 stitch gauge, which I think I can get. What's this? I don't know. I have to measure it. I just knit that. Um, but this, here's something that is not guaranteed and it's not on the label, but this skein weighs 120 grams. I actually found that Barrett Wool was crazy generous with their overage. My last experience knitting with this exact yarn, every single skein was super overweight. So you've got like a full, I bet you a full, maybe two full skeins. So by the time, so I'm going to weigh all of my skeins and I, I have no doubt that I'm going to have enough yarn. Because you needed one more skein? I think I was, yeah, I was within the one okay, skein Tracy. range. I think I'm going to be okay. I love this. This is their, I think it's called Pebble. <gasps> Is it a steely blue? It's like a super dark charcoal. But I can't get over the the stitch definition. So I showed this swatch to Jeff last night. And I said to him, what do you think of this for a sweater? Was he thinking it for you? And he goes, yeah, I love it. No, because he knows I was, oh. I was measuring. I was finally like measuring one of his sweaters and trying to get to compare with patterns. You know, what size... I'm also having trouble finding a pattern I love, love, but I think I might just do Cozy Classic Raglan. Tracy. And I might do pearl bumps every two inches and make it kind of, I don't know, Jody. I don't know, but look how beautiful that little that definition. Setting. How do you think he feels about the pearl bump? I don't know. He said to me, he goes, my sweater's not going to have all those holes in it, is it? Yes. I said, thanks for giving me a story for the podcast. No. I said, this is very special knitter language. You don't get it. Um, Ultimately, whatever you end up doing I don't is going to be Jody. beautiful. You know what I want? Why I want just, okay. a sweater that has four stitch cables, you know, the skinnier ones mm -hmm. that are a little, like, three inches apart. Where? Everywhere. Like, it would be a thin cable. Why don't you use Cozy Classic and do that? I don't really want to add, do my gauge and stuff, but I think I might just do Cozy Classic, period. Because you guys, with cables, that changes gauge a ton. It does, and it eats up more yarn. I don't feel like I have the yarn to yeah. play with that. So let me show you one pattern I was looking at. Um, of course, the Cozy Classic. There's, It's not as easy to find a plain pattern. Maybe our some of our um, watchers might have a suggestion for you. I would love a suggestion for a raglan men's sweater knitted about 17 stitches that is got a little zhuzh. Not fancy. What about an all over like a seed stitchy? Look at this. It's a zip. Oh, yeah. This is petite knit. That's beautiful. I don't know how we'd feel about that. But as I was looking. Do you really want to fuss with a zipper? Uh, I don't know. That's a maybe. I bought the pattern. Um, it's bulky. It's 15 stitch gauge. Ooh, love Hello. It. Um, and then I also bought this one by Alicia Plummer. Which Gib. 
Gib. Gib. Is that a sweater? I'll check G-I-B. it out. G-I-B. This one is raglan knit at a higher gauge with just a tiny bit of texture. Here's the thing. Do you really want to do an all over texture sweater? I, it doesn't, it's not every row. This one's called Justin's flannel. It looks like a knit, it looks like stockinette and then like a one row of ribbing every few rounds. Single, I don't know single that I want to do that. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. That They're, again is all over texture. I know. That's a double moss stitch. So yeah. I don't know that I want to do that. Yeah. Um, so I'm still looking at the old fort or it's called fort and it's by Jared flood. It's Brooklyn tweed. It's again, <gasps> lighthouse keeper from salt and timber. It's oh, 17 I'll look, stitches. I'll look, thank you. Um, I don't really want an all over texture because I'm a little bit lazy. <laughs> no, I know. Listen. Okay. Can I also just share a pattern that I think is ridiculous in its awesomeness? And I almost cast it on yesterday. This is called the Palm Bomb Hat. What is that? It's a knit collage pattern. It's their super, super bulky yarn. Their yarn, this is... Is it the stuff that the fringe is made out of on my sweater? No. Bulkier than that. You're kidding. It's, it's called Knit Collage Wanderlust. And it's the jumbo category of yarn. Not even super bulky. It's... I'm going to knit that. 200 grams and 30 yards of yarn is that hat. That one skein, 200 grams. It's got... No. Yes. So it's two skeins? No. It's one skein. That oh hat is one skein of yarn, 30 yards on gigantic needles, 25 millimeter needles. What? Tw 25 millimeter needle? I, I... Anyway. Think... You can head to... it. Knit collage and check it out, but I almost tried to get Gage and knit that and tell you to bring three pom-poms for me today. I think it's so freaking adorable. I think that's so beautiful. I wonder if you can double strand spun cloud. I have a lot of spun cloud. Okay, this gib is Andrea Mowry's. Oh, let's see. Is that the one with the... Oh, yes. Okay, I, I looked at that. What's the gauge? It's 20 it's, stitches. It's a tighter gauge. Just a minute. There's than a I gib wanted. one and there's a gib two. They're both 20 stitches. <gasps> you guys. One is, it's a his and hers pattern, I think. Yeah. It's beautiful. The thing is, this yarn, I know it's worsted weight, but it does. Um, I can easily get 18 stitches and love the fabric on it. I'm going to show you the men's one up close, you guys, because this is dark. You're not maybe seeing the amazingness that this yeah, sweater I wish, is. Yeah, I wish they didn't knit it in. Well, I guess it's a kind of a medium color. I When that came out, I bought it, and I would love to knit it for Jeff. You guys. But I would probably knit it in DK, not worsted. Okay. So it's not um, a tight fabric. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. Like I so Sonder yarn, yes, I feel like that would be amazing in Sonder DK. So this one I feel like is knit a little bit longer. The uh, the original one is much more cropped, like that cute little Andrea Mary crop mm. style she wears. Mm -hmm. But this sweater, you guys, is really. Beautiful. I would I would love one of those for myself. It's a raglan. It's a top down. I mean, if you're looking for something with all over, like are you, Tracy, I can see you in I this. I just feel like I should knit that for myself. This is stunning. Okay, somebody just suggested the Wave of Change pullover, and that is a brilliant idea. I've actually knit my Wave of Change pullover in worsted weight yarn. Did you just have a light bulb moment? No, somebody just suggested it. No, I'm just saying, were you like, oh my God, I love that idea? I do love that idea. Um, I would have to check the size of the pattern. Like, I'm sure it's super size inclusive. Yeah. Um, but that's what I'm doing. That is, I'm knitting, gift knitting, and I'm going to cast on this sweater. I love, it's going to be, a I love that. Thrilling to knit. I freaking love it. You know what else I was thinking? Cozy classic raglan mm -hmm. and a couple of pearl rows, um, columns of pearls, like ribbing, but like 10, three or four inches with just pinstripes of two stitch pearl. Love that. So 
basically stock and app, but I think it'll give a really nice look. I can't wait to go back and see all these sweater recommendations because yeah. I love that because most of these we haven't heard of. Well, I haven't heard of. I don't of. think um, Barrett Wool has this color in stock. Actually, I know they don't because I looked for, I was like, I'm just going to buy Jumerous Gains. Um, and then I can knit cables and do whatever I want. So it looks like they're out of this color. Are you married to this yarn for Jeff's sweater? Listen, I want to use up what I've got. Do. And if I have enough to make him this beautiful gray sweater, I mean, I also thought I would love my own sweater this color. So I don't care. Either way, I know it will get used. Yeah. Um, what about your cones? I know. I said to him, chocolate brown or gray? Because I because he picked the freaking Did chocolate brown. you say neither? And he goes, gray. And I was like, I'm just confirming you want the yarn that I've already purchased. <laughs> That's funny. So anyway, I'm not buying more yarn. I'm either using that yarn or this yarn. Yeah. So that's it. But like, I love working with this yarn. It's really, really beautiful. Really beautiful. So I the agree. five five millimeter swatch is this bottom part. Whatever that gauge is, I feel like I'm gonna try and knit something. I will that. use it. Yeah. Um. Okay, this I thought was really pretty, you guys. It's fingering weight yarn. That's Ew. super pretty. Just kidding. I just loved... <laughs> I, it was the motif. It's the Palace Sweater by Marie Jesus Camas. I know I'm butchering that. Um, That's really beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yes. All over color work? Yes. Palace Sweater. Gorgeous. Love it. Okay, what's next? Okay, here's another one that I purchased the pattern for, and it's actually a fundraiser pattern, so I wanted to share it. Um, this is by Rebecca. I don't know her last name. She her she's Kreya Bea. She's got a podcast on YouTube, which is really great. She's over in Edinburgh. That's pretty. I do enjoy. She's actually has released the Cargill sweater, which I have looked at since that, it, before it came exact. out. This exact oh, wow. um, stitch pattern, but this cow that she's now released the cowl. I was in the cowl mood. Um, the proceeds from this are going to a charity that she explains all about in her Instagram and in her um, her last podcast. Mm -hmm. It is a women's charity. I don't remember the name of it. Anyway, very happy to support. So it was not an expensive pattern. It's a great thing to support, but I love the stitch. I love this. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm going to make this for myself at some point. I think that but all I, over. Yeah. Little cable. Is that a faux cable? I have no idea. It's, it's a cute. dip stitch where you go in a couple down love. below and pull up a strand and then knit Super it on, the, on your needle. So I think this is actually a great way. Can I see? Great way to see. Oh, maybe... <gasps> Maybe oh. I would love to knit the sweater. It's reminiscent of that. What's that sweater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. What I'm going to show about. this really close from because, Wool and Pine. Yes. It looks sorrel like, sweater. It looks like cables, but you guys look. It now looks like an exaggerated stockinette stitch, a single, but there's several loops on each side. <gasps> That's beautiful. Um, I know, right? It's beautiful. She's an amazing knitter. You That's know, and really then she's beautiful. like, all of a sudden she starts designing, but no socks, no hat. It's straight on sweaters. Beautiful sweaters. There's actually some lovely podcasts over in the UK that I tune into. I love seeing what they're up to. And they are all these lovely ladies that are designing sweaters. And so I watch Hive Knits with Lizzie, who's... um. She's just a doctor who happens to design sweaters, so whatever. What's her name? Underachiever. Hive Knits. She's got a beautiful sweater that I would love to knit. Um, Rebecca is Crea Bea, and, oh my gosh, Penrose Knits. This is really beautiful. They all design be beautiful sweaters, so you can check out. Really, I'm sure really watches. beautiful. Yeah. Love it. Anyway, I love a charity pattern. You guys. Um, I have some yarn to share look what is in this package and it's not even open jody you should give it to me for safekeeping okay first of all excuse me i just burped i've been drinking pepsi zero um i got that my sounds disgusting spun right round advent 
have not touched it. DK. I don't, well, you know why? Because you've been so busy. No, Tracy, it's sitting right on my counter. And yesterday, Woolens and Nosh did not peak. Wow. And I don't know who you are. This is... Um, Freckled Whimsy? Freckled Whimsy. I brought one for a giveaway. Oh! <gasps> Jody, this one for you. We're doing a um, advent giveaway. We've got more than one advent to give away. Let's include this, and that's going to be maybe next week because then yeah. people can get it shipped yeah. and they can get going. Jody, I can't believe you bought me one. I'm totally hey, going to rip it you open. Guys. <laughs> totally good peek. Want to see? Okay, Thank so you. this is what I'm doing for the month I will not. of December, and I haven't done this before. I'm allowing myself. More rested, resting grace in December. Well, Not I would slacker, hope so. but this is what I'm going to do. I have a DK. Every day I get a DK mini from Spun Right Round, which I intend to just start a granny square. And every day keep going around and around and around and it. around. And then I have two of, I have a DK from Freckled Whimsy and I have a DK from Woolens and Nosh. I'm going to knit my damn socks. A Jody. stripe each day. Yeah great idea it's my plan every year but i'm on it this year i feel like i'm i'm much more prepared this year starting the the knitting early like just using bulky yarn yes i still want to crank some tubes to make some fun socks because there's a lot of people that still prefer hit socks. me up if you need dk just give me your yarn it takes five well, minutes well you've given me some tubes already i know but if so i'm gonna make tubes. i'm gonna make some yeah but and i still have to buy myself a 48 stitch yeah, yeah, yeah. okay since we're talking about sorry i sidetracked but no but i was like pretty proud of myself that these aren't open i love the idea jody and i think it's my brilliant. dk at home is open no i'm just kidding it's not <laughs> it's not okay so giveaways here's the deal i love our circular sock machine and you know we've made it work since we got it we wind our yarn very loosely into a cake and then we do you, you pull yours from the outside? Yes. When you Yeah. So thread our machine using the outside of a loosely wound cake, which is, it works. It's great. Technically, and the people that make the machine say, you should wind your stuff on yeah. a cone. Mm -hmm. I don't have a cone winder. I have a cone, but not a cone winder. When I looked into buying a cone winder years ago, it was really expensive. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, I can get by without it. Mm -hmm. Um. But our friend Joyce, who is retired, and she and her husband were like, apparently we don't want to just be retired. We want to have a new business. Mm -hmm. So it's Let me get that show the box. Oh. That's her name. So Joyce Knits and Sews. These guys make a cone winder. So I'm going to give this a whirl. I haven't had a It just came. But I wanted to show and let people know where you could get a cone winder. It is not as expensive as the one that I um, was looking at years ago. And, I mean, Joyce gave this to us to give it a whirl, yeah. see what we think, yeah. and then we can share what we... So I haven't used it. I'm going to. It's, first of all, like, just looking at it construction-wise, it's really simple, thank goodness, because <laughs> I feel like that's great. Um, it came with like five cones, so you can have more than one color pre-wound. I think I'm really gonna love it. It's just a really simple electric winder. So I'm gonna. I'm excited to see what you I'm think. I'm gonna use it, and I know for I know it will feed into my machine better. I know that. I just don't have a cone winder. I didn't mm -hmm. have one. So if anybody's looking for a cone winder, Joyce love and her that. husband, it came so fast. Yes. The shipping. Like, you can still get one in tons of time if you wanted to. Okay, do you want to know what I do? I'm going to tell you what I do. So I've got a cone that was given to me by Cherie. So I've always had a cone. I don't. Well, your machine came with a cone. Oh, yes, it does. Yeah. Did it really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going. So this is my wound yarn, mm -hmm. and this is my cone. I kind of do this to the yarn. Oh, okay. And then I do this. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's, and then I pull from the out, and then I pull from the outside sure. and it's, it's perfect. Joy, however, has taken, you know, the fussiness of fussing when you I don't mean, it's, have it on a cone. Right. So I'm, I, I actually, I want to give this a whirl. I wish I had, I was hoping to have time to use it, but it's just been too insane. I love that. 
but it's very lightweight. It's made Look, beautifully. She's got a, yeah. Wait, I think 3D printed. It's made if beautifully. If I'm guessing. I love it. Yeah. Thank you, Joyce. So I will keep that in its little box and kind of always have it. I do love my circular sock machine and I just feel like, mm -hmm. you know, very excited to give that a whirl. Do you know how cozy I feel? I have DK weight socks on and this cowl. It's pretty cozy. Just loosely um, around my neck. I feel like I'm sitting next you to a fire. You have a nap. I'm going to. Um, I do have some things that showed up. Okay. What about you? Yeah. Remember last week I had stuff for the last time and I waited. And then and surprisingly then more stuff arrived. Shocker. Um, things created equal showed up, which I love. This rooted yarn club. That's really pretty. It also plants trees with every purchase of the yarn club. She always has such a beautiful photo. It is. And it's like bang on. Mm -hmm. This is the inspiration photo. This is the beautiful yarn mm -hmm. that came. And then she makes a matching stitch marker. It's so great. I love this one. I actually love this one. Like, I love the I do club, too. but I really I, love yeah. this colorway. The tan and the bluey green in there. So <gasps> that is something I think I'm going to crank up on my sock machine right away. I think that's going to be really beautiful. Is that fingering weight? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful yarn. Love it. Love it. Okay. You guys. Um, I got my Freckled Whimsy Yarn of the Month Club. <gasps> That's so pretty. Humble Heart. This what I, This one, I feel like this maybe is your, more your colors. We'll crank it up. I'll crank it up and give it back to you. Oh, okay. And then you can do it, gift it, keep or it, whatever. Or I can make mittens or whatever. You don't yeah. have to do the work. Why are you doing that? Because not every... Listen. But you gift socks all the time. Give it to some... Give. I know. It's super But you cute. gift socks too. So sometimes it's nice to get you, give you some DK tubes. Well, I, I was really it. pretty. Listen, I've never been disappointed with one of the colors from I'm a member of her auto renewal um, sock club. Right. I love it. Club. The grays and those wines and then the pop of the pink and the orange. I think that's going to be amazing. Her color sense is gorgeous. You know, she started out as a bag maker. And I have one of her bags. She used to do those little teeny, cute, adorable. Yes. yes. Now yeah. she transitioned. Years ago. Year. Yeah. Anyway, she's a beautiful dyer. Um... So, I got a couple of books in the mail that I always buy. I I buy the Shetland Wool Week book every year. Do you? And these are these are their this is not inexpensive. This is over like 50 some dollars this book. Um but it's full of patterns and it is literally in celebration of Shetland Wool Week, which is it was the same time as Knit City this year. Um, but you get recipes and articles, and they are collectibles. It's really beautiful. I mean, it's something to read it's as really as well beautiful. as knit from. Yeah. So I do love it. I still haven't knit from any of them. But Sometimes there's history it's... in here. Oh, those are beautiful. Um, <gasps> the photography is gorgeous. So I actually picked this one up. I didn't see any in our local yarn shops, and I got it from Three Bags Full in Vancouver. And it came right away. What are the three bags full of? Who you would like to? Who would like to? Hot air. Is, that's what it's called, right? Three bags full. Where I think we went. So. Yeah. Um, three bags full yarn shop. Okay. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful magazine. I love it. Uh, and they are collectibles, right? Yeah. What's your other book? Um, the last paper issue. I think I might have the whole library of this now. Making magazine is no longer a printed book. I don't know that I'm happy with that decision. This is the last one. They've actually just changed. They're going to be now. Digital only? Um, they've changed everything. They're going to be the Bright Collective. I don't, I have to look more into this. I don't know about it, but they have an app, the Making app. I listen to the Making audio podcast on Spotify is where I listen to my stuff. These are beautiful magazines and they're always crafts. It's not just knitting. Okay. It's knitting, crochet, no, no, I know. It's embroidery, um, sewing. So you get, I feel like the value in these magazines is huge. You get a lot. Um, Susan B. Anderson. Is she in this one? We adore. She's always, She's always in, in making it. magazines. I'm actually curious there's, to know the story about why they're changing. Beautiful patterns in here. Beautiful patterns. Look at that. 
pull over with a, just a little bit of cables at the top. I love it. Oh, that's by Amy Sure. Seasons change, Gansey. There's beautiful. cowls, sweaters, shawls. I mean, the patterns are gorgeous. So I think you can get this. Well, I so look know. at you collecting the whole thing. Um, and I and I did. I would treat myself to the subscription of this, but whatever. So it's exciting to see what's happening down the road for them. But that is. But I'm not on board. But Jody would <laughs> apparently say, "I think you should rethink that." So. I know. I, I, I'm. It's a bummer that the beautiful book isn't going to be available anymore, but it's really exciting to see somebody, yeah, you know, I, make a turn and change. I actually think there's lots of things we yes. don't know in their app. So this app, you get all kinds of things, including like Zoom get togethers and patterns. Yeah. And, and it's also a subscription of some kind. I don't really know enough about it, but yeah, I will look into it. Um, but I am a big fan of the magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, so well, that was the last no one. no longer going to be around. Right. Um, so Ross, Jody. who is Twisted Ambition Yarn, yes. who I've been a big fan of for a really long time, he yes. does incredible dyeing. He's, he's very, very, um, good at, amazing at color, the way he puts color together, That's a the way stain. he puts it on yarn. He is a very big advocate of the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. And also, this was a breast cancer fundraiser. Really? So this it's is so beautiful. This is called Brave. Love and it. this five dollars from every skein of this went to um, a breast cancer charity. I don't exactly remember which one it was. It's finished now. It's done, and I just got my yarn. It's beautiful. Jody. This is his sweet sock, which is a seventy-five twenty-five. Um, I got these. It's beautiful. And I got two DK. <gasps> Look at so that. I thought we could um, have a couple of these for a giveaway. Look, we have big, last year we did our 12 days of giveaways where we yes. made packages every every day for 12 days and drew a winner. We are definitely doing that again this year. Yeah. So Jody, I love it. Ross is very, very talented. Let's do, well, we'll include that. So this will be included. Um, and then um, I it's also so have. It's so cool on a heavier yarn. DK. Like it just looks different on each base. I mean, fingering. Same but different. Fingering really is showier when you're seeing like speckles and stuff. I don't know. I like them both. They end up being different and then mohair and surrey again totally. very different but equally as beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I mean lots of people two skeins of fingering with some add a mohair you can make a love note. Right. So that could be someone's sweater if they. So I just thought this was really beautiful. I loved supporting him. Yes. He's always got a yarn that's dedicated to a type of fundraiser. Giving back. Giving back to I his community. That. He is an advocate for mental health, which we also are very passionate totally. about mental health. And um, we love Ross. Jody. Yeah. Love it. I love it. That is amazing and beautiful. Okay. So I have something that somehow got a little bit pushed to the side last time, but... These arrived after we got home from Knit City, and I wanted to share them. I placed an order. Um, like, remember I said, you know, you see all this stuff, and then you come home and order it, even if you didn't get it at the festival. Sure. Um, so we discovered brand new Bramble Ridge yarns when we went to Vancouver. And Remind me where we saw them. She's so nice. Remember she had the, the Surrey green sweater, and she had the really pretty... This was her show color called um, Shoreline. Yes, I remember. Remember? I actually don't. But So she sent some, remember the double-stranded Surrey sweater? And I said, I'm going to knit that. You came home thinking that's your take. That was your takeaway. Yeah. So I really just loved her yarn. Was she the designer as well? No, okay. but the dyer. Yeah. So she <gasps> sent some beautiful skeins of yarn for our prizes. Oh, our giveaway. Yes, yeah, so generous. Like so these so really nice. Big. Actually, these 3 together you guys would be stunning. And I ordered a couple myself. They're gorgeous. I'm thinking I was thinking like crank. Are you buying yarn for me and yeah, mine? Right. That's so funny. Slate and Ocean Eyes. These need to stay together. I think that's a sh beautiful shawl right there. Right? And then this was her Knit City um, colorway called Shoreline, and this... That's the one she gave us. With the Sparkle Mini. Um, she gave us a different one. We already gave it away. Right. But we got another one. This is the Sparkle Mini one. Oh, it's, my God. It's all coming back. I know exactly so who It's so perfect yes. for um, 
sock bash. It's so we're beautiful. gonna make sure this is a prize in our sock knit along, which goes every month, and we do not promote. We are so <laughs> bad. Um, I just drew a whole bunch of names. I'm a few months behind on prizes, but that's happening next. Week. I have a quick idea. We should do shopkeeping a five minute update each time. Look how organized you're right? becoming. Like, Who are let's you? Ju just do our shopkeeping so right. we don't forget. Because I know there's a lot of people that do that. They're like, let's do our admin update. And it's true. Because people love the knit along. We don't have another knit along right now. But I really am serious about loving that Ready, Set, Raglan. I feel like some kind of a Raglan knit along. And if you wanted to knit out of the Ready, Set, Raglan book, great. But there's lots of Raglan. We have more Ready, Set, Raglan coming. You guys loved the book. We love the book. We, we, just, we all love the book. And we love that style of sweater. We should order 50. Well, yeah. Did you order some? I ordered what I think. Um, I'll have to look. Yes, I did. There's some okay, coming next good, week. Good, good, good. Uh, and Salt and Timber is going to be really restocked next week. People like that one And too. that was out of stock. It flew out of the shop. Yeah. So that's coming again too. But you're right. We should do an admin. Um, Just a little. This, don't forget. Sock here's, Bash. Here's the overview of Sock Bash. It's every month. Done. It's starting and finishing a pair of socks that month. And we have a theme where if you follow the theme, which you don't have to do, but if you do happen to follow the theme, you can enter your socks twice. Yeah. So the theme this month is gift. It's a gift. So if you're knitting gift socks, mm -hmm. fingering or DK... We allow. So, I mean, DK socks go pretty fast. There's people that literally enter every month. I see lots of the same names. We pick six winners every month. And we just are so lucky that people send us their their work. And we have a million prizes. So we send them out. So thank you to people. I love that. Because people do the every single month. Then there's a big grand prize. And I think our December theme is scrappy. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what yeah. it is. And so everybody getting their mini skein calendars could mm -hmm. knit scrappy socks and mm -hmm. put them in twice. Somebody asked, well, Star asked, we're going to call her out, um, West Knits Books. Is that available from Julie that's Aslan, our book such distributor? Such a good question. I can look into it. Yeah. I will look into that. Do I don't that. know. Yeah. I definitely don't know everything. We... Um, also ordered some copies of Knitting for Radical Self-Care again, Brandy Cheyenne Harper's book. Loved. So we love that. Everybody loved that. There's some more copies of that coming. What a beautiful that was a hard, thing that was for gorgeous. yourself or a beautiful gift mm -hmm. for someone. Not just the, the knitting patterns, but what is in that book mm -hmm. as far as the men mental health and taking care of mm -hmm. ourselves with the knitting. I love that. Um, yeah. So those Perfect. are our knit alongs. We are going to start another knit along. I don't think we should start it till like January. Let's not stress people out right now. Everybody's busy. Everybody's got stuff on their plates. If you want to do our sock knit along, that's running. But as far as a sweater knit along. Should we say let's do Ready, Set, Raglan and people get organized with that sure. for the new year? Sure. Or any Raglan. You don't have to buy the book. To, yeah. I, I, but we're going to be choosing a book from a book. We'll choose a pattern from the pattern book. pattern from the book. Yeah. And actually, Pom Pom said they would be, they would love that and they would help us out in any way as far as, you know, a prize. Maybe we'll do a giveaway before it starts so somebody could, yeah, get you the know, book. have the book and get going. So we'll figure out all the details. I we're... think we got to order more books. Okay. Well, I did order. Okay, good. But Perfect. I'll order again. Yeah. I, I'm really stock. excited because when we showed the book and we've talked about it more than one time, there's really, really incredible sweaters. I think yeah. everybody looking at that book would find a pattern that they love. And I also think it's a book, if you're afraid of knitting a sweater, this is a workshop as well as a pattern book, mm -hmm. right? They really give you tips and tricks and all those kind of things. And maybe we would do a, a video talking about, you know, beginner sweater tips. Yeah. To you know, maybe started. somebody, I, I would love it if people use this knit along as their first sweater. You got this. We knit will. With us. We will try and be as supportive as we possibly can. Tracy um, will do zooms if you're having trouble. But honestly, I feel like a raglan style sweater is a very great choice for a first sweater because mm -hmm. you're knitting it from the top down with what you don't have to, but. We will knit it from the top down. Um, you can try it on. Mm -hmm. All of those things. Yeah. Love that. So. 
Okay. Back. Anyway, thank you again, Bramble Ridge. Her base is so soft. Too. It is I beautiful. It. So um, she used to also make jams and jellies. She really? I got something upstairs. Cranberry jalapeno. Mm. Yum. So she sent that. And I'm not sure if she said she makes this soap, but this was also in the box. It's a wool wash bar. I'm such a fan. That box that is very cute. Oh, Does it smell good? So good. Yes, so good. Oh, that is so good. It is good. And we have our Tuft Woolens, our own wool wash in the shop. If you guys are looking for a really cute little add-on or something for yourself, talk about good stuff. Tuft Woolens. Yeah, love our, it. Our pom pom pucker and our cranberry pucker are amazing. Um, and our friend Steph, who is creative knitter, just launched a new line. Surprise oh. box showed up. This is her um, new collection, her home body collection. So like tweed yarns and beautiful soft variegated. You can find these all at her like um, creative knitter shop. This one is called Plant Lady and it's a fingering weight tweed sock. I thought I totally would make socks out of that. Um, we're going to for sure put some of these in prizes. These are beautiful. Aren't Look they gorgeous? At that. I love a tweed. Ooh. I feel like... Winter's so good for tweeds and variegateds and pretty things like that. Steph is an incredible yarn dyer, and her yarn shop it's looks beautiful. so cute. Yeah. So thank you for the party in our mailbox. And I'm totally going to knit. I think this green is calling my name. Her logo is amazing. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. yeah. Actually, those two together. Hand dyed too. in Ontario. Yeah. And I always think, oh, I'm going to make it. but Yeah. But look at them. Yeah. All of them together. Yeah. And listen, you don't need to have three different tweeds. Three, all your yarn have right. tweeds. This one does not, and it will play beautifully together. This one's called Succulents, and it's absolutely perfect I look just for that. like that. It would make a beautiful, like, ranunculus, or with a cream mohair, with something like this, it mm -hmm. would be gorgeous. Okay. Kim, who is my friend who does my nails, at, yes. she works at Rose's Nails. We've connected on the level of like, she loves to cook. She thinks I really love to cook, but I just like chatting. <laughs> so right? you've so been talking about her, cooking. her. She, no, but like, she'll ask me what I make. Cause we I'm like always, to eat. So we're excited yes. when we can talk about that. I know what you mean. She has given me her homemade chili oil. Oh, Jody, Yes, that was good. Um, so she does a lot of cooking on Sundays. She volunteers a lot of her time at the temple on um, Sundays so we we were gonna meet up and she wasn't there but she get I don't, sidebar I don't even know why I was going there what I wanted to say was she gave me an aloe plant oh when I said succulent this made you think yes. of that okay in a 10 gallon bucket. looked like a 10 gallon gallon bucket it was planted she said she took it from the babies that grew on hers. She's got a green thumb. This That's how we, first, because she grows the orchids in yes, the salon. Yes, the orchids and are I amazing. I grow orchids. So it was like we chatted. But I, you guys, I kid you not, this aloe is now tip to tip like this. That's amazing. You do have the best spot in your house for that stuff. That's amazing. And so good for like that's first what she aid. Said. Like if there's useful. She said people eat it. I said, well, Kim, really? I'm not going to eat it. Listen, I know I look like I eat everything, but I'm not going to eat that. Um, and the texture is kind of goopy. sticky. Yeah. 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 I don't want to cool. be covering that. Yeah. But anyway, just this thing, Tracy. Jody, that's really neat. It is really going neat. crazy. Really? Yes. It's funny, you know, we go to the same nail place for years and years and years, and you do get to know them. They yes, they're are friends. more than just the girl that you go to. They're, they are very, like, you just know about their life. Totally. I, I buy baby gifts when they have babies. Yeah, it's just really, really sweet. Yeah. I love it. They're amazing ladies there. I can't believe I have all this yarn to share. If anyone's in Edmonton and would love their nails getting done, if looking for a place, Rose's Nails here on the West End location yeah. is incredible. Yeah, we love those ladies. Okay, Lemonade Shop. Um, Jody, I see sparkle. You guys, I cranked this tube. Do you remember giving me this yarn? This is called Truly Outrageous. This is 100% Super Us. This is older. Yes, I do remember. She <gasps> is... It's so good. She's the queen of those little blips of rainbow, you guys. Look just how at good the that end. Is. 
She's wow. so good. So I wanted to crank this tube. Just Jody, I, I love it. Isn't it gorgeous? It would be so cute to do the heels and something like that. Right. I love like totally taking a completely different color. Wow. That complements or doesn't have to. Like no. it could be a totally left turn color. Yeah. But so that was one. But these are new ones I just got. This one, I didn't show these, did I? I don't think I did. I don't um, think so. This did, is, are these new? Like, did you just get these? Well, I had them in my bag, and I wasn't sure if I saved them. I think I saved them for today. I really this is love called, all of them. This is called FU 2022. I have that skein. It was part of that cowl kit that I bought with yeah. the nubby. That's beautiful. This is called Harp. Did I get this from Cakeapalooza? Maybe. I wonder if I showed this, though, Maybe. you guys. This one's called Harvest Disco. So cute. Please tell me if I've shown this already. Why? Who cares? They're gorgeous. This is called Hundreds and Thousands. I love that. And these two are in sparkle. Amazing. This one is a 75-20 with nylon. This, oh, this is two. Isn't it funny the different lengths of... Yeah. Super I fun shop. Great fun colors at Lemonade Shop all the time. Love, Heather. Yeah. 100%. And I do remember this yarn because I bought it for myself in fingering. Isn't it amazing? And I made socks for someone and gave them away. I forget. Maybe for you. Did I make you socks like that? Maybe. I they think I might have. Oh, they're in my drawer. Yes, they are with a yeah. white. It might be a striped ribbing. I think so, Jode. Yeah, I'm for sure I did. Um, okay. I... Our friend Jill Zielinski, who is just awesome. And she's Knitterella. And before I even knew she was a graphic designer or a knitwear designer, I used to buy her little care tags for knitting. Anyway, things have evolved. She is now North Bay Fiber. Mm -hmm. She's got her own line of yarn. She's hand dyeing the colors. Her yarn is gorgeous. So I put in a order for some skeins uh, to make some gifts. And Jill sent some lines that she thought maybe we would love to share with our viewers or use as prizes or whatever. But I bought these four colors. This is her heritage base, which is a woolen, I think it's woolen spun, woolen spun DK. They say heavy DK light worsted. 150 grams and 137. I oh, it's, just, it's amazing. It's amazing. <gasps> it's such beautiful yarn. This is the... Um, what color is this one? Oh, the smell, you guys. It is. it is. It's kind of like the worsted, like the woolen spun. This is Chinook. It's in the big tag. This is Chinook. Oh, this is called North Bay. Sorry. I'm oh. looking at it going, what is the color? It's North Bay. So a steely, bluey, gray North Bay. And then this one is Steelhead. And this one oh is God. Black Stone. And then this gorgeous green is Algae. <gasps> I know, right? And then the natural. You guys. So it's super lovely. And I love that they come. We've shared this when she first launched the company. These come in 50 gram skeins. They're so perfect for color work. You don't need to buy whole skeins of yarn. This yarn, I feel like, is right up my alley. It totally is. The soft. You guys, it's that airy softness of that woolen spun kind of idea that it's very like this feels like nothing like if you love brooklyn tweed or you love yes. this brooklyn um this barrett woolco woolen spun this is like the same family of of wow. it's all american wool she does her own thing but she's also so this was the base i think she started the company with now she's got sorry about this crinkling you guys especially with our fancy new microphone asmr um, she has this line that's elemental, it's called, which is Cormo. So this one is a blend of two different... I'll tell you what it is. Okay. Right it's now... It's got that one that I was like, what is that even? Polypay? Yeah. Oh, it says it right on the front. 100% Targi slash Polypay. Okay. So those are the sheep that they use for that one. The elemental line is all Cormo, which is another lovely. What? So feel? there's the worsted... And this is a worsted spun line. So this is woolen spun, fluffy, airy, but light. But this is also very bouncy. Very, very bouncy. Very round, a beautiful twist. Yes. And so 
Jill is an amazing designer and she designs all kinds of beautiful patterns. I think she has just a new sweater out in this elemental, I don't know if it was her sport or fingering. This is the color Caddis. This is Gill Plate. Now she hand dyes this yarn. So not only does she, so these are all American, it says right on her thing, 100% sourced, milled, and dyed in the USA. It tells you right on the label where everything's from. So this is a non-super wash, but it's the 21 micron, which makes it real soft, Oh, you'd you guys. never know, right? Like just by <gasps> picking it up, you'd think it. Wow. So this is the worsted sport and fingering. And this green, I cannot even. Wow. With the so these are two skeins of the green in the fingering. This color is called Tobico. I don't know what it is about green for me lately. I'm just I like, know. what I'm the same is way. that? Look so, how that color would look so good on you. Isn't this beautiful? I feel like, you know how much, when you knit that green sweater oh, from Brooklyn Tweed, and you were on the fence the whole time, like yes. you liked it, but you didn't know if you'd love wearing it. Right. You love that green Listen, sweater. the parade color at Sonder Yarn Co. at one point. I will knit with that. It's so beautiful. It's, a, it's another green that I think. But this is another. This showed up and I was like. That, this, next to your face, Tracy is looking incredible. Well, maybe it should be a shawl or something. I don't know. But a I, sweater. I do want to tell you guys. This is stunningly beautiful yarn. And thank you to Jill for sharing it with us. I love. Did she send this all? Um, I did you buy something? I bought this. I know I did. I don't know if I bought all of them. I was going to say, I'll take this. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, sure. No, I'm not. You it's guys, I have a sweater. stunning. She's got the cutest. So she is a graphic designer. Um, she did my Mrs. Brown Yeah, I don't think graphic. she does that anymore for people because she's so busy. Oh, so we are so very lucky. lucky. She designed our season pins, our fifth anniversary. We had a spring, summer, winter, fall. Mm -hmm. I think we still have a few of some in the shop. Not very many. Mm -hmm. They were collectibles, but she designed those with us. Um, so if you have them... I mean, I've always thought they were special anyway, but they are very limited edition. So. We do have a few left in the shop. Not a ton. No. So anyway, this is, she sent her project bag. So I am, okay, I'm, I'm starting order. to think about some selfish knitting. I want to knit. Do you want to take the worsted? No. But what I, it's so nice. But what I want to do. Do you want to take some of those? No. I'm going to go and look at colors. Not, this is garbage colors. No, just. I, I bought it for black and white and then I thought the blush would look so good. And then I was like, oh, look at that green. And oh, look at th this. Like, you should take um, some. Jody. No, I'm not. I'm going to go and I'm going to choose a sweater and I'm going to buy yarn for yeah, it. It's, it's going to really be color nice. work. Really nice. That's all I want to knit, you guys, is color work. I know. It's crazy. So the, I'm going to buy a sweater quantity of Jill's yarn. I this have week. a sweater in this color mm, yeah. that I have not knit yet. So I have no business buying more yarn, but I'm okay with. But, I mean, how nice is that going to be? And I was looking at swatching for this for the throw over. That Andrea Maori yes. one with the chevron. Tracy. So that's, I pulled yarn out to swatch for that with this. It's just, it feels You've incredible. said you wanted to, knit. I would highly. I think I'm going to do that. Not the cardigan, the pullover. No, the pullover. Yeah. And that's also knit at with a very cycle? loose gauge. Maybe. Yes, you I should. I have some. Anyway, that's beautiful. Jody, wouldn't that be fun? Yes. Maybe that's my, oh, I got to get something raglan. Anyway, at some point, right? Yeah. I'm thinking aloud about our knit along. Yeah. So. Would Jeff wear a color work pullover? I've showed him like so a throw, many. He's not, doesn't gravitate towards that. I'm still going to knit him one one day. Like not super out there and all like blacks and grays and Yeah, creams. or one color. I think he would love it. Yeah, I yeah. think he would love it. So love, love, love. This Cormo is amazing and the. Um, heritage line is just remind me they're so I different wanna, when I ask I want a North Face sweater and I'm going to get a Sondra sweater this would be beautiful for knitting little mittens or hats mm -hmm. or whatever for your family right for Christmas that's gorgeous yarn so we'll we'll make sure that some of this is in our 12 days of giveaways too love that because okay that's really fun I can't wait to do that next I have again um, this, I'm so glad I didn't miss out on this one because I love this. This is spun right round squish DK. This was super a yarn of the month. <gasps> Look how long we're talking again. Yes, that is lemonade shop. That's 
lemonade shop. I love that spun right round out. We can just, I'll go a little quicker. Um, and then, uh, sorry, this is called Glitter in the Subway. This was a uh, Yarn of the Month Club. I think you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that that's what this one was. And then this I ordered. This is a Merino Aran. Ooh, this that's is, pretty. This is called Hologram. And that's also spun right round. Yes. <gasps> it's so pretty on that base. I just thought of a hat. That's really pretty. With the fun pom-pom. Yes. Just a vanilla because I it's so love beautiful. It. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, what's next for you? One of the fun things that we got to do when we went to Rhinebeck was meet Cece of Cece's Wool. Yes, we did. That was amazing. So we, I, I chose, she's got an also an American line of yarn so all about um sustainability and conservation and i'm sure you can read all about it in on her website mm -hmm. um but it is that it's american wool and all that stuff i bought these two skeins this is they call it their worsted tweed but to me yes it's tweed but it's spun into the yarn it doesn't stick out bobbly like other tweeds it's like little Blips of Barber Pulling. It's so pretty. I absolutely fell in love with it. This is the color Seashell. God, that's soft. It's DK. Is this non-super Oh, no, it's worsted. Three-ply Merino Ramboule. Non-superwash, right? Yeah. Okay, because that's crazy it's soft. It's so soft. That's so, really cool. Really gorgeous. C Look at those little wool. blips. So it's... It is... I love it. It's it's my favorite kind of tweed. It's, it's tweedy in the idea that there's little blips of things there, but it's like spun in there. Twisted it's tighter in. than, like most tweeds to me, they kind of, like you can pull some of them off. That's yeah. not like this. No, so this so I nice. thought was super pretty. And then when we were chatting, she said, I, I would love to give you guys some yarn for your knit alongs and whatever. And she, so this is again, the American U yarn. This is the line. This is their bulky base, and it's a three-ply. And she said there was this mix-up at the mill where one of the plies ended up a superwash, and the other two are non-superwash. So it's it was all dyed together, but you know the difference between superwash yarn and non-superwash, yeah. that the superwash takes the color more intensely. Was so this an error? It was an error error at first okay so i don't know what the deal is from now on yeah, yeah, yeah. but this looks marled two different colors it's two different that's very cool. types of yarn dyed in the same pot and they just take differently that's a great study in how dye takes it's to very different fiber. very interesting so <gasps> this is the bulky. i didn't listen to this part whatever this is beautiful. We were getting tired. That was the end yeah. of the... But look at all the colors. She's like, take this color and this color and this color. Look at these. Georgia's kind of claimed this one, but the sure. rest is, is up Georgia for... blue? Yeah. Well, I love that. Whatever. She's not too picky. Oh, um, this is so pretty. But you can really see the... I mean, it's a, a marked difference in color. That's remarkable. It's so I love cool. That. And it is, again, it feels soft like butter. So, so soft. Oh, it's squishy, you guys. So really fun to support, you know, their efforts to, for the American wool and the conservation and sustainability. But honestly, you guys, this is phenomenal. Phenomenally beautiful yarn. So thank you, Cece. It was so fun to meet and chat. Um, yes, it was. It really was. And she said something about watching us. I said, you do not. She goes, no. Of course I do. I said, what? All right. Um, this feels amazing. And a bulky hat for gifts. Now, like my, my brain is stuck on gift knitting. I mean, that's for sure a weekend project. Yeah. So, but I loved the colors this in this. This green is really stunning. I think it would be just the coolest sweater too. Like the wave of change pullover it's or cardigan. It's super light, you guys. It's, it's absolutely scrumptious. Beautiful. So, love it. Love, love, love. Okay, I do have... One more thing, and then I have Frankie Gray and a few things from a little shop talk with Grocery Girls as well. Do you? Okay. Yeah. I have this beautiful box of yarn that our friend Nicole from Hugh Loco sent. Let's we, give it some love. Um, her color palette, the new they change it every year, 2022, in the fall, started launching. 
Um, and we were away. So we haven't really shared it. But I know you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to be obsessed. It's crazy. It's so I will beautiful. probably be keeping one of these. I'm honest. Well, I think you should. Knitting with them and sharing that. Okay. The Hue Loco team does these amazing 10-pack mini sets. They're incredible. Um, so I'm going to go through a few of these. All of these are available in our shop, and they're usually always available on several bases. Always a DK. How are you doing there? I'm just rearranging things. Do you need to clip in and, like, oh, yeah. mountain climb? Hey, I'm um, moving. DK, and then there's usually a couple of different fingering bases to choose from. Regardless, you'll find what you want. When so, I think mini skeins, I do think of her. I, I really, too. really, really do. You guys, this might be the one I'm keeping. This happens to be in DK, and this is Mood Ring and Steal the Stars. Okay, now, here's the 50 set that I ordered. That's now, the same color. Now, what Nicole does when she comes out with a line is you'll get every one of these in the mini set. She'll also be pulling... Some of them to do 50 gram skeins in fingering or DK. Here's mood ring. You'll oh, be it's bulky. Oh, sweet Jesus. I know. I just about died when I saw the bulky. And this is Steal the Stars on DK. So they're both in that. Right. So there's this is two collections that are that go together. Or you can get the sock set. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. So two 50s and two minis, but it's the same color palette but she's just pleasing everyone with the weight. This one really jumps out at me because of the colors. It's lovely. This is really 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 incredible. She said okay. anyway. Okay so that's one of them and that's not all that is available in that collection you guys. There's more colors in, like there's just more of combinations in these that's two together. That's a good together. representation of how a color can look so different. One on is Steal the bases. Stars, one is Mood Ring, and they complement each other beautifully. Okay, I'm coming back. Okay, so this is also another one. This is a combination of Heat Wave and Ala Mode. This is all ten of the colors, five and five from each collection, that pair perfectly together. Here's Heat Wave on DK. And, oh, that's not it. What's this? And here's, I think... Heat wave on the merino sock. So you can see it's slightly different this on all the bases. This is upside down. Like if you turn this upside down, that's what it, that's the same. Right. Exactly. Okay, Joan, I love it. Okay. Oh, here's Alamo DK. There you go. And that's Alamo sock. So those are two collections. Yeah. That she, and there's the minis. And then she's pulled colors and made the minis. Okay. I think next one. Don't you love the bright, um, kind of neon-y vibe happening there okay. with that one? There's a color for everybody. This is gorgeous. This is a combination of Yes I Canyon and Sitting Pretty. That's what this is. Can you guys believe this? No. These so Nicole, I mean, her whole team, they've got quite a I think they're a big, they produce a lot of yarn. So do you guys see what they do? They have two colorways. And then they make five minis from each one. Like that'll be on this side. This will be on this side. Then they'll pull from that and do like the 50 gram sets that you see with the four different complementary colors. Right. So that one was Yes I Canyon. Yeah. There it is on DK too. Yeah. Ooh, it's so autumny. Right? Yes, I feel okay. like that's very, very autumny. My mind is blown, and I think I need this one. This one's called. I would love to see what Tracy. you do with that, Jody. You probably do it. I feel like she was targeting me with these names. This is called <laughs> City Kitty and Middle Child. Jody. Here's City Kitty. Hold the phone. Oh my God. On Surrey and Sock, Merino Sock. Okay, that's on this side. Do we have any of Middle Child? This is Middle Child. What's this one? Here's Middle Child on Surrey and Fingering Weight. I'm going to need some I do some feel of this targeted. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, I mean, I how many beautiful patterns do we hold sock and something fluffy? Well, and oh, this one's actually mohair. Oh no, it's Surrey. Sorry, it is Surrey. And how many would be too many to take? Right. So, I mean, all of those, 
amazing mini skein pattern. Helen Stewart's um, knit vent this year is all mini skein patterns. I love that. So check that out. The pet, you can get the pattern. It's um, releases. I'm not sure if you get the whole thing what now or not. Here's sitting pretty. Is okay. that this one? No. Here's toasted. Okay. Do you remember toasted, you guys? No, that was marshmallow. Toasted marshmallow. Just oh, marshmallow. marshmallow. Okay. This is different. Um. Okay. So here's another one, you guys. This is called with a twist mixed with toasted. This is two. These are both of those on the DK. And then she's given you two solids, but that's those same two colors. And this is toasted on DK. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's kind of got that clay pink and then the warm orange, but also some cool grays as well. So, so Nicole, you know, she sent for our, our knit alongs. And I'm going to keep a couple, if I'm honest. Okay, but I did order something. You tell me. No, I no. I ordered this. No, no. Unless you want it, it's no, yours. No, that's not what I'm asking. This is DK, and it's a the grit, the 50 gradient of the mood ring color. So they broke it down into gradient, like minis, but 50 gram skeins. So this it's is, mood ring, but it's in there. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but you guys, come on, look at that. I thought I did think cowl. So it's two skeins of DK. You oh, could also use it God. as color work and like. You know, like those more like spin cycle, whatever. You could use this. You could just use this as a gradient for color work. This city kitty it's and beautiful. middle child, I'm obsessed. Do you love? I'm gonna. I fucking take them all. Okay, so I mean, obviously, a lot of these are going to sock bash, but we do have our knit alongs coming up and our 12 days of giveaways, and we will make an awesome Q Loco day of our 12 days of giveaways wow, too. Wow, you guys. But it's fun to share the colors. We did used to preview the colors, but our- oh, Yeah, this was available October 7th. We traveled and Lador. missed everything. These are all available now. You can Good. get everything. It's kind of, um, but it's really nice to see it on different bases. Like this bulky, their bulky base is a base oh. I want to knit a sweater in. Where did that go? We You dropped it? Listen, I- Oh. It's a huge skein of yarn. First of all, look at that. When I see her yarn, this is what her, like I get inspiration from Nicole. I get inspiration from Renee at Spun Right Round. I get inspiration from people that have be able to do this with color, you guys. And I don't know if people remember, and I'm sure they know, but Nicole was a fine art student. Like she was an artist, Yarn, yarn dyeing came after she's always been an artist, right? Yeah. So Colors. I think she's exceptional. Like who with would color. think to put these dirty, like dark colors, but then these pops of like the jewel me tones are beautiful. Like, are you kidding me? And you know, this is this the one Georgia, Georgia loves? seems very greedy. I like that one. I like that one. No, she did. I do open yarn and I force people to look at it. It's like, ooh, look at this. And she did look at it and go, oh my gosh, mom, that is amazing. Yeah. That is so beautiful. And there's next to nothing she ever asks for. I know. So here's the thing. She doesn't ask for gifts for Christmas. So I do knit lots of things for her. So I think I could just get a regular cowl and a regular hat out of that for her. Yes, you could. She would probably love it. I could throw some sparkles. <gasps> I think I might do that. Tracy. Use some sparkles. I mean, I yes, amazing. Anyway, so I love seeing the colors on different bases. I do love a good mini and a good skein of sock yarn, but yeah. you can really see like these. This is the same color. It's well, that's it's home different with me. on each base. It just takes differently. Yeah, Surrey and sock. What are you gonna make? A hat. Good. I wear them a lot. Yes. Um, holy oh, moly, holy moly. So anyway, they're always doing crazy stuff over at Hugh Loco. I mean, shout out to all the indie dyers, the colors you guys put together. It's art. Every and single skein is art. I don't know if you notice these black clips, but that signifies the main color in each set. And then everything else is a complimentary one. So those are like the actual, the actual with a twist and toasted. You'll find them all clipped. Okay, City Kitty and Middle Child, you guys. It's very 
kind of pastel y, kind of dual tone, but it speaks to my what? My crazy the cat heck? loving heart. Do you love it because it's called City Kitty or do you love the colors? I, I and Middle Child, I actually loved the colors before I saw the names. Right. They're super good at naming too. Wow. Yes, I Canyon. That's adorable. Heat Wave and Alamo. Oh, this is Mood Ring. Mood Ring and Steal the Stars. Come on. You could even just knit a plain straight shawl and just watch all these colors. It would be amazing. Your Malibu shawl in, in this. this. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Perfect. Love it. Okay. I do wow. have one more thing to show to you guys. Clinton Hill Cashmere. Oh, yes. Who I follow on Instagram, and that's how, yes. I, that's how I saw this. They have appliques for your knits. This is going to be... What the heck? I never saw that. This is a skull that's going to be on a hat. I love it. Clinton Hill. Would you put it right in the middle? Oh, I put it in the middle, but I'd wear it. Yeah, in the middle would be cute, too. Yeah. I got two if you want one. No, you keep it. Um, they're gorgeous. I've never seen them. Okay, that their whole line is 100% cashmere, right? Okay, this. Yeah, I think so. I didn't buy the yarn. Look at these. Wow, those are really, really freaking pretty. Oh, oh I love the bees. Bumblebees. So what do you do with these? You sew them on. They're a little bit of felt on the back. You either fabric glue or sew them onto your knits. Wow. Tracy. Like even just a plain raglan sweater, you guys, with a trio of bumblebees? Yes. Yes. And they had a black hat with this black sparkle skull. Oh, you guys. Like, could you imagine one Tracy. coming here? One, two, three. <gasps> Obsessed. I think I need to order some bumblebees. Sparkle applique. Oh my god, I love them. There's also a lemon. Oh, I love the, lemons actually, too. Actually, I believe the bees came in a three pack. Perfect. So that was one. And I ordered two skulls. They were a one piece each, and same with this lemon. But oh, totally. actually, you guys, you could even make hair clips. Glue it onto a hair clip. Oh my word. I How about like mittens? Tracy. With your, like, can can you see like texture, texture, and a little stockinette square, and that's where you put your B on the. I could not. They said finally restocked. So listen. Oh, shoot. We're not. You should tell me these things before we get on the internet, I'm Jody. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway. Keep the bees. No, I'm not keeping them. Actually, if I'm honest, I don't think I'd use the bees. You're such a liar. I honestly, but I, I will use the skull. I ordered, there was actually other ones. There was ones that looked more beaded with like an elephant applique. Um, oh, the bees are sold out. You get the bees. Jody. I don't think I'll use, I didn't think I'd really then use give them. Then think about, give them to me for Christmas. No. Don't just Merry give Merry Christmas. No. Yes. No. Skulls. I, I actually got a skull for you, if I'm honest. And then I don't really want the lemon, okay, but, but I'll that keep would be super... This is the one I wanted. What, even on the back of a sweater, like right there. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure they have a so million So now you have to design. plan a sweater. The hat would be so good with this, though. Yeah. I'm going to do a hat with this. What about even a headband? Yep. If you're a headband person. Yep. Check out um, Amanda's headband. Jody, you should keep the skulls. Okay, I'll keep the skulls. I feel like I you may not use them. Good, I'm glad you were honest. But the I jazzy the bees. bees. The bees I, I ordered because I thought they were cute, but I, I don't know bees. if I'll use them. Perfect. Love it. I'm so, imagining a gray sweater. Yeah, you are. With because the, I love... The mustard con contrast of that. Oh my gosh, I think they're so cute. Aren't they? I love sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Love it. Thank Clinton you. Clinton Hill you, Cashmere. Who I admire from afar. Their yarn is stunning. It is gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't love cashmere? Yeah. Um, okay, something that came, and we were so lucky to get a preview copy of Charming Colorwork Socks. It has been a month at least since it's come out. This is by Charlotte Stone. She is a phenomenal knitwear designer. Um she's you can she's stone knits Those are so beautiful. this book has my heart it is absolutely stunning i've already thought to myself like when i finish 
um, knitting Christmas gifts. I want to cast on a pair of socks like this for myself. And I don't care when they get done. The designs oh, she has oh. in here, there's the ice cream cones. They're so whimsical and so fun. Like the name of the book, Charming Colorwork Ooh, Socks. Oh, the cherries. Is perfect. Here's also, like, can you... They're so beautiful. Sometimes the color work you could like adapt. I was thinking I want these, but I want DK. Listen, if you get the book and you know how I many can... stitches would be DK sock is, you can make that work. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you can use, I lo you can only do, you can do a little bit of color work. You're yeah. the boss of your knitting. You can do whatever you want, but there's one in here that is, this one I think is really so cute. Um, but there is a Christmas pair in here, and that's what I want to cast on in December. Is it the snowflakes? No, it's like... That's garland. Holly. This one's holly. Okay, oh, yeah, this holly. one's holly and ivy. That's so pretty. I don't know if that's it. I, anyway, if you follow Charlotte on Instagram, uh, she has every occasion covered. Those are the bats for Halloween. I just think this book is absolutely beautiful. I haven't knit out of it yet. I heart socks. Wow, this it's, book. And I mean, I used to be afraid of color work socks. How about the eggs for Easter? Little chickens and eggs. Brilliant. And I mean, it's it's really, honestly, it's the same as swatching for anything. Oh, the snowflakes. Christmas Eve skies. Is that the Christmas one? I don't know, but I... It's so cute. And she's used... A, Didn't you just say you had yeah, one you wanted I, to cast on? The one on? I saw on her Instagram, I thought looked different than that Ivy one. I don't know. Um, let me see if I can find it. Okay, does anybody else get um text messages from Spanx every day? And what are they trying to tell me? Really? That's so funny. Um, I get Instagram likes to tell me um menopause belly and Spanx. Ew. That's all I get the ads for. Menopause belly. Listen, they're not wrong. Oh yes, so it is that one. That is the Ivy and Holly. Oh shoot. I think. What I think it? it's so... Oh, Isn't that so cute? Actually, Tracy, just one. Just like that? No, just one right under that red and then the rest of vanilla Just gray like thought. that? Yeah. So, I mean, this book is gorgeous. It's Again, I think it would be in my list of favorite things for knitters for Christmas. Um, this one is very, like, kind of Norwegian. The Norwegian star up there, but then it's just a striped sock. How cute is that? So um, Charlotte and their publisher, they sent us two copies of this book. One we for will you. Absolutely be doing this for our 12 days of giveaways. Love. We will make a beautiful sock <gasps> giveaway. I love that. And we'll give away two that day. Two well, don't packages. you want to keep one? I actually bought one. Oh. I thought it was coming out and I couldn't remember if they, we were going to get it. Because sometimes we've been told yeah. that something's coming and it didn't come. And I was like, I don't want to miss out on this book. Yeah. So I bought my own and they sent two. Okay. So we're going to be able to give away two. Love that. Um, but I'm happy to have purchased it. It is totally up my alley. Okay, I have one more thing that I wanted to share. Uh-oh, you stole one of these. Did you buy two? No. I bought them to give away. Two? I bought a bunch, yeah. But two of the same? Yes. Okay, good. I thought you stole one because there was no, two of them. No, because I wanted to have them for prizes. Okay, so at these this booth... These are such booth, a good price. We were at this booth. Did you know that this is... No, I didn't know the kit was okay. that. Okay. That's that yarn I bought. I just realized. Okay. Oh, so it's so nice. Adela bought me this kit for some reason at their, the tap, it wasn't working my bank card. I did pay her back, but. Um, you, I thought you guys were going to do a knit along. Yeah, we haven't or yet. Or crochet along. Did we, we did say that, didn't we? It sounded like a great idea at the time. What booth was this? This is the C word. Her the C booth? word. Crochet designs and patterns and kits. In incredible so she did a play she goes it's just supposed to be cheeky the c word i, I love, love it. it um i don't think i'll knit the wrap i'll think i'll knit or crochet this i won't crochet it into a wrap i'll crochet it to maybe a throw blanket with maybe a heavier like border it. just so like the granny squares are in the middle but look at you guys they've made kits there was a couple different kits the pattern has the light version i chose the dark version i love it and that's probably, oh, I love oh. it. What about a crochet vest? Like a slipover. Like, I don't know. I love it. I love what you picked. 
I love it. They so had really much. fun modern crochet designs, yeah. and I feel like people are totally looking for them. This is their box it bag by Cal Pat. Just totally the cutest little tote of made of crochet. Oh, my cat was eating the corner. This busy tea. There's Lorraine, busy peach herself. We this, met her. This is, this launched the day that we were yep. there at Rhinebeck. There's um, picture tutorials for stitches it's a on beautiful the back. Pattern, you guys. Beautiful. So we thought, let's support this pattern. We, you know, we wanted to get a couple of those to give into our prizes. And then I, I thought the wrap was so beautiful. So these were an easy way to bring home something nice for other people that couldn't be. So we'll have a, a 12 day of giveaway, maybe crochet, for crochet. day. I love it. Oh, that's going to be really fun to put together all of these things. So, okay, here's the thing that is coming. I'm going to give this to you what? as one of the 12 days of giveaway. Cause if I'm honest, I won't ever knit crochet in. Is the pattern in there? The pattern's in there. Jody, that's amazing. Plus we can do others, but this is going to be now. Well, we can add the pattern, the other patterns too. Yeah. So Holy that'll be a, moly. that'll be a, 12 day of giveaway. You guys, this Shetland yarn from Harrisville <gasps> is Incredible. gorgeous. And what a beautiful I mean, the kit pattern. caught my eye, and I think in a in a in a perfect world, I would be sitting every day and a and for a couple of hours a day knitting or crocheting. And they say it's only a level two. Like so I yeah. I imagine that's not super difficult. Yeah. All of these patterns say level two. Love it. Um Okay, good. Jody, that's so okay. generous. Georgia! Hi, George. We're podcasting. We're talking Excuse about me, you. Miss. Did you hear me talking about you? No. Could you please greet me a little nicer than that? Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Be on your way. Bossiest auntie Love ever. Love you, Georgia. Okay. Okay, this is ridiculous. A hundred and... Okay, we're almost to three hours. You know that. 15 minutes. Obnoxious. Two out, 245. Maybe, maybe around November, December, we got to do it every week. There's a lot of stuff happening and okay. showing. Okay. I don't know. Well, I'm just saying. Okay. I have um, Grocery Girls. I wanted to share a couple of things that made it to the shop, just so um, you know. Speaking of books. Oh, yes. This is pre-order and will ship in about 10 days' time. But this is a mini palm. It's, it's so cute. It's for your littles. So mo a lot of these patterns are famous patterns you've already seen in Pom Pom Magazine, but for kids. Some of them are new, and some of them are uh, resized for the little people in your life, you guys. It's... <gasps> Look at uh, this. Do you guys recognize this? From Moon and Turtle. Now it's for your kid. Okay, but also, do you remember that beautiful crocheted jacket? Yes. That's also been, it's called the Battenberg, and it's been downsized. So speaking of cute. But there's lots of little accessories. There's look a at. cute little pig. Socks. The If you look at the back, you'll see all of the cute projects. This is a really fun um, <gasps> new publication from Pom Pom, and it releases very soon. Can you believe this baby? The cuteness levels Stop off the charts. And the little hat. But look, I mean, look. But even this like is the so mittens beautiful. with the long I cord, it's yeah. practical and adorable. Can you say yes? And just the cutest. And there's a blanket in here too. That this, oh, I loved this pattern in the regular pom-pom. This is that pinwheel. Gorgeous. It's so pretty. So there's so everything you could need. Oh my goodness, look at the photography. So there is a digital download code when you buy this book, and it ships the 22nd of November. So I don't know if we still have. We have some, yeah, and we can reorder for and, sure. Yeah. But these are pre-ordered. Um, this new Pom Pom Winter, this is 43. This is their... Um, I think we can list it today. Quarterly was yesterday. Oh, okay. It's already listed, oh, and it's available to buy. Stunning. Look at I mean, the cover. Right. Wow. Actually... Was there more than one cover? No. Maybe? No. Look at that you sweater. Guys, look, look at this sweater. This is called the Atel. Um, I'm going to show you. Oh, I can't really do that. But look, it's oh got a goodness. Latvian type braid up there with some amazing, like geometric, modern 
color work. Wow, that's super cool. Isn't that? So you pick that up on the before you do your button band, you do yeah, that. I don't know what, what, what I think... on earth the sorcery is, but... I love that stripy sweater, you guys. I could totally see myself wearing I that. I feel like this is very... Like Aztec kind of with their colors and, and like, their designs and the and graphic. Like modern fashion forward yes. knitting. I just think... Look oh. at the photography. I mean, that has always been pom-pom for me. Okay, just a sec. I just saw something. Okay. I would love this. Like, look at the structure. I can't and wait. The stri movement of the... the it's got the eye cord edging everywhere. Yes. I can't wait to see people's color yeah. palettes of this. It's stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Wow. So that one is the winter, of course. So many of us collect pom-pom, add it to your library, and a really gorgeous looking cake recipe in there. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Okay, um, we have some beautiful it's water- a spice cake. Mm. Beautiful watercolor greeting cards. <gasps> um, they're originals by Water In My Paint. Um, you can find them at whenwatermeetspaint.com. But we have them um, in two sets of three. They're different. There's set I one and them. set two. And it's fun animals wearing It's like mitts. alpacas and cats and goats and sheep. And yeah. they're just beautiful. And I love her whimsical style of art. Look how, like, regal this guy looks. We've had them before sweater. in some different ones. There's a couple of these w that are the same. A ram and a tam. Yes. What? So um, I think they're we love these. beautiful yeah. and I love having blank note cards in my um, drawer. Yeah. You can either gift them or just use them. Come on. What is that? That's a chihuahua? Yeah. In a pom-pom hat? Of course it is. Um, Janet, our friend, um, Janet, who is the yarn bowler who does all of our pom-poms. Um, yes, in they're in the shop yes. right now. Yeah. Came up with the idea of pom-pom ornaments. I love it. So this is an extra small pom-pom that comes... So like three inches? Yes. Ish? That comes on... Where did you get that? Last year. She gave it That's to us different. on our gift. That's bigger. That's bigger? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So... Um, these that's a small these are extra small oh, as an it. ornament you can put them as a gift topper you can hang them anywhere you can put them on a tree whatever Ooh. you want listen they are so cute there's 12 this is just a few of the colors there's 12 colors in look tall. at the orange and the pink and the green and the blue together yes you can tie them together as a little this bundle. This cobalt blue. <gasps> so those are in the shop. That's just a few of the new, new things we've had I mean, this not week. everybody has a tree, uh, but everybody seems to give gifts at some point. I yeah. think they are so cute on a gift. Like tie and have ribbon coming out from underneath it. Like tie this right in the middle. It's also the perfect size for a baby hat. Yes. So you can use it as a pom-pom. Put it through the top of your hat. Yeah. Yeah. You can do a lot There's of a things. a million things. You yeah. can put tie these at the end of a, um, yeah. like a flap hat. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Super cute. Um, okay. I have um, Frankie Gray. We'll just do really quickly so I can show you guys what we've done the last couple of weeks. And then I'm finished. I love it. Um, did you mention our new bag? I'm so sorry. You were holding it. It was holding it. So we've been looking for a new project bag. And we found one that we absolutely love. It's 100% cotton canvas with a really nice soft cotton webbing. Mm -hmm. And it is our Sweater Weather Sister Sheep project bag. It's, it's such so a good, good size. It's so good. It's about 10 by 12 inches with a 3 inch um, gusset. It is an awesome mid-size project bag. It's also a really good gift bag. Yes. Right? For your bestie or whoever you're... Um, some people do yarn exchanges or whatever. It's a really good size for something like that. But it, you can crunch it into yeah. your bag and it's very durable. We, we love it. We love putting things in our shop. We've curated this collection of items in our shop for knitters or friends of knitters who'd like to get gifts for Everything people. is stuff we love. Use. Yes. We love it. We love it so much that we think other people will love it too. But we, everything is because... 
we love it first. Yeah. So I like hope- we stock all of the cocoa knit stuff yeah. or a lot of the cocoa knit stuff because those are things we use every day in our mm-hmm. knitting. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, things like that. Yeah. Okay. So Frankie Gray. Frankie Gray. You ladies have been so busy. Um, we restocked Amber Dashery, <gasps> which is a gray and teal. That's a beautiful neutral. Thank you. Ooh, this is fun. This is down at the disco. Ooh, I love Just that. Just lots of fun colors. You'll find these on fingering and DK. This is Monet. That's actually perfect. We should have called this Shelby Monet. Aw, you have to but make just a purple. Monet. Yeah. Um, that Monet is gorgeous. Fishtails. Ooh, that's really pretty. People seem to really like blues. I really love that. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Purple pop on there. Um, ooh, this is so pretty. Um, Enter Galactic. Yeah, pink and green are oh. so good together. And Aren't the gray, they? yeah, so good. Um, this is called Mrs. Cla- oh, I want to wait for that because I've got complimentary ones for that. That's pretty. Teenage Dream. It's kind of blues and some peachy and kind there's some watermelon red. pink. Yeah, I like that. There was some. Okay, that's there. This is. I love it. MVP. Um, this is called Winter in New York. This has like a sandy gray, very light pour. It has a gold yellow. It also has a charcoal speckle. Super it also pretty. has a really beautiful blue speckle. This was the MVP of the day. This was Jordan's color. Do you guys do that at the end no, of every day? No, but I day? just say I'm obsessed with this color. It was a picture of... It's neutral, but not. In New York, and it was frosty trees. It had a couple of blue lights you could see and a one yellow cab in the middle. It's it's stunningly beautiful. It is so Like, for the beautiful. amount of color on... Colors... Uh-huh. You would think it would be so busy, but you guys have done such a subtle job yeah. with the speckles, and yet Tracy. everything's shining. I agree. MVP. Love it. Um, Thunderous is a really pretty neutral. I love it, Jody. I feel like I'm just repeating myself all the time. You guys. Um, abominable. Blue. Blue on blue. Adorable. This is, oh, white elephant. This was one we were just pouring extra dye on. I love a good mint. Mint with some a um, aqu- little bit of aqua there, sagey. I think that's really pretty. This is Swan Lake. Ooh, that one's got. A this good... would go really good with Monet. Yeah, fade. Maybe too close together. No, I don't think so. Okay, this. Oh, that's awesome. This is also one I actually <gasps> want to knit a sweater out of. This is called Wild Child. This is also Jordan's for this yes. week. Oh, you know I love a black speckle. And look at the pink and orangey. This has a very light gray pour. And with neon, yellow, and then some other colors. I feel like it was <gasps> named for you. I love it. I Wild named it. Child. You named it? I named that one. Staycation. Love. Someone requested. We brought it back. It's, it's a beautiful teal, neutral. teal, pink, and some light yellow speckle. It's a, a neutral... Gray. With interest, like yeah. with pop, right? Because not everybody loves a bright, but there's still a little bit of color in yeah. there, and it's so lovely. Yeah. Really beautiful. Um, did I show this? No. This is called Rebel. It's half and half, so that's going to micro stripe. Ooh, I love that. It's really quite pretty. I did a tube. It's quite pretty. Did you? I was yeah. going to say, crank a tube. Oh, that's lovely. It's called Marauder Prince. Yeah. I, I love that color. That deep teal. Isn't is, it pretty? Yes. Um, Sugar Plum Fairy. Cute. Um, this is. Ooh, that's Sunflower. Awesome. I love Sunflower. a great yellow. Okay. I don't think she gave me. I feel like she missed giving me one. But I'm going to show you these other two. Blue Lagoon. More blue. And then this <gasps> is. I love it. Um, Whoville. With red. Did you do that one before? Hot pink. We did. We brought it I back. I love it. Okay, this one is Chris Kringle. It's got a red pour with some green and red speckles. Jody, that's super. And cute. this is Mrs. Claus, and it's on a bare yarn, but we've used the red speckle and the green. Really and nice. And we also have 
the third one, which is the green pour with the red and green speckle that goes really is well. Is it in the shop? It's in the shop. I don't know if it fell out of the bag. Okay, because I'll try and find it. Yeah. It's called... Ooh, ta- Taylor Swift Yarn Club. There's still a few. White, uh, elf, effing around, elfing, elfing around. around. It's so cute. It's like the opposite of this. This has the speckle. This has the red and speckle. That is the green and speckle. So cute. Yeah. I love the name too. Jody, that's <sighs> awesome. Wow, you guys have been busy. Plus many, many, many more. Right? Holy oh, busy. Very quickly, you guys. Want to know the bougiest thing I did? <laughs> Cranked a tube a spin cycle. <gasps> I love that. Isn't it? But beautiful? if you want full socks, Yarn Hero is meant for socks. Like it's got nylon. I know. I just but wanted I do to love... see this. I just but wanted to see it cranked up. It's so cute. This is the colorway Midsummer. Whose is that? Because I've got like six of these. Is this? You bought six of them? Yeah. Who... What were you thinking? I don't know. I, I don't. It doesn't have to be a someone's color. It can just be one of their colors. I don't. I must have really loved. I mean, I do beautiful. really love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Spin so- socks for the win. You know, it'd be really fun. Just again, raglan sweater, and a solid whether it's charcoal or whatever color you like. You know, three rounds of that, three rounds of this, and just watch it fade through because it's, it's really beautiful. Just the stripe, and you don't have to do anything. It doesn't even have to be fancy anything but if you have enough yarn you could do a fully striped yeah that was the extra thing i did it's gorgeous i'm like like, is it double stranded no it's it's the worsted one okay i thought oh what's this gonna look like amazing i mean it is super wash so it's not like it's not yeah midsummer there's a little bit of that nylon-y color so beautiful oh my gosh their colors are incredible okay you know what i'm having next besides three sweaters no like so much mm-hmm. the sheep <laughs> <laughs> the sheep camp sweater oh i love that one in that sea dark um dark black and teal that i yes. knit my hat out of and farmer's daughter spin cycle <gasps> that what was it called burn slow burn slow burn I Guys, I'm gonna want that sweater. Yeah, I are. have wanted to knit sheep camp for ages. Yes, you have. You're the one that I brought almost, me onto that. Yeah, I love that sweater. Yeah. So that's that's happening. Oh my god! Can we just skip show notes? Tracy, the pie, the struggle is real. No, and now guess who doesn't have energy to clean her house? Yeah, see? that was a horrible idea. Anyway, <laughs> it was. you wait long enough, and it'll it goes. just go away. Okay, we should say goodbye. Are we done? Yeah. All right. Maybe we should do it again next week and do just a little bit of favorite things for people. And any knitting that we have. Yeah. I think I have a haircut on Thursday next week. I don't think it's going to work. I think with life, I think we better keep it to two weeks from now. But we hopefully... I had a bunch of stuff that We I, might be able to do weekly in December because things slow down. We slow down. That's true. Maybe so we So maybe do that. we'll think about that. One more two-weeker. Don't hold us to it, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't. So follow us on Instagram because we will be having a Advent giveaway where we've got, I think, three or four different versions of Advent. We're going to get them. We're going to do it next week and we'll have it shipped out to you so that by the time December rolls around, you get to do that. So love that. um, It seems to be the easiest way to give things away. On Instagram. Yeah. Every time we've done it on YouTube. Nobody gets back. The winner never emails us back. Yeah. So it's not been very good for us that way. But um, thanks okay. for thanks for tuning in. This was fun. Yeah. This was really fun. Talk this was really you. long. Holy mama. I think we had a good um, run of our new microphone. We can't. I just feel like we've just been. I can't. I mean, it can't keep up. Now this. we're caught up. I had a bunch of stuff in my bag Me because too. our Rhinebeck was so long. I saved some stuff. Right. So I feel like next week might be, you know, a little in closer t- to two weeks. hours. Yeah. Or in two weeks, a little closer to two hours. What happened to the good old knows? 90 minutes? I don't know. We just have so much to talk my about. My favorite. Yeah. Uh, no, it's the thing, right? We just I kind of it. were hanging out and doing our thing. And thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. It's been, it's been super, super fun. I hope it's not as cold. It shouldn't be. The weather's looking halfway decent. 
All our links to the things are down below this video once it's posted. You'll find a Ravelry link to our show notes and our groups and um, to our shops and to our patterns we talked yeah. about. So thanks for watching. All right, you guys. Have a good couple of weeks. We're going to stay subscribe. warm. Yeah, we're going to stay warm and we're going to knit some gifts and we'll, we'll be back in two weeks. Yeah. We'll see you then. Was there ever a 90 minutes? <laughs> oh, my God. Now you're being lippy. Goodbye. We used to do 60.